be doing is so sorry okay so what we'll be doing now is i want to welcome all the guests like thank you so much for joining as i said earlier and the contestants yes i can i know that you guys have put in so much effort and we cannot wait to hear from you like to tell us what you are for us tonight we are so eager to hear from every one of you and we want to say that as you are about to like bring out a lot of things that you like practiced learned i pray that god will actually give you more knowledge thank you so much and to the judges oh my god like these people see let me tell you something about these people once you like once you hear from them you know that you no know, these people as this gen z yeah gen z is the way they say it, like them sabi like they, they know what they are doing and then don't worry i i should not even say a lot of things because once they once they start with the old stuff we will actually enjoy them and also the audience as i've said earlier thank you so much because i can see a lot of people joining as well right now thank you so much for joining i really really want to say a very big thank you because we do not take it for granted we we're not actually expecting a whole lot of people like this but thank you so much for turning up thank you thank you thank you thank you so much then the next thing is to invite the team of inc the innovate nursing challenge so the 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 team lead is about to come on board. So let us just patiently wait for the for the team lead here. Yeah. And do that business meeting here yeah, because because you can talk you can talk all right uh thank you so much Senaj. Uh, i believe i'm audible good evening good morning good afternoon everyone from wherever part of the world you're joining from there are people joining from nigeria from Canada, from the United Kingdom, from US, from, I mean, from different part of the world, from different part of Africa. Uh, thank you so much once again for joining everyone. All right, um, this is a very time bound event and we won't want to, you know, uh, uh, go beyond the time that we've set for this event. So uh, I'm just going to be welcoming everyone. And at the same time, going to be telling us about uh, Innovate Nursing Africa and also um, about the Innovate Nursing Challenge. Yeah, but before uh, I do that, I'm going to play a video now. So uh, this video is going to tell us just something brief about the Innovate Nursing Africa, our mission, our vision, and then um, I'm going to say just uh, a few things after that. Uh, before I play the video, I, I want to say a big good evening to our uh, guest speaker. Our guest speaker is here already. Uh, good evening. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks so much for joining us. We are so grateful to have you in our midst and we are so privileged. Thank you so much. Don't worry when it is time. We are going to introduce her and you'll get to know uh, what stuff she's made of. Also, I want to say a big shout out to our judges tonight. I mean, these ones have been on this for the past, I mean, more than a month now, you know, trying to see, uh, bring out the brightest mind in nursing, trying to, you know, go through all of the innovative ideas that have been submitted throughout uh, this content. And I mean, they are really going to be doing it job even here uh, this evening welcome welcome we are also going to introduce them when it is time also i want to say a big welcome to our special guest uh on tonight's event innovate nursing challenge uh we have almost all our guests are here i mean it's a very great privilege having this once in our midst it's uh we do not take it for granted we are also going to introduce them uh when it is time and also uh to the participants to the contestants i mean you've come a a very long way you've come a very long way and i believe that um 
it's also another interesting moment for you all this evening and to everybody participating in this event you are welcome to our attendees i can see people from united kingdom i can see people from nigeria people from from uh, kenya i can see a lot of people uh, on this call right now one of our guests also from canada just joined in you're welcome so uh, right about now what is it about innovative nursing challenge where did this idea come from? What are we trying to do? Are we just trying to gather people for just to compete for a particular amount of money? What is our mission? What is our vision? How are we doing what we are doing? So right now, I'm going to play a video. And um, shortly after that, uh, I will say just a few things to just tell us and let us know why we are gathered here this evening. Thank you. In the world of healthcare, innovation is not just a buzzword, it's a driving force that has the power to transform lives. Did you know that innovative solutions in nursing can reduce medical errors by up to 50% and improve patient outcomes by 30%? At the Innovate Nursing Africa, our mission is to empower nurses to become catalysts of change, driving innovation in healthcare. We are on a journey to create platforms where nurses can unleash their creativity, explore new possibilities, and make a lasting impact on patient care. We believe that nursing innovation holds the key to addressing the evolving challenges in healthcare. Through the Innovate Nursing Challenge, we aim to inspire, educate, and support nurses in their pursuit of innovative solutions. We are committed to fostering a culture of innovation within the nursing profession, where nurses are empowered to identify problems, develop solutions, and drive positive change. With our supportive sponsors, partners, and volunteers, we strive to provide a supportive and collaborative environment where nurses can connect with industry leaders, entrepreneurs, and fellow innovators. Together, we can create a vibrant ecosystem that propels nursing innovation forward. Through the Innovate Nursing Challenge, we aim to equip nurses with the necessary skills, knowledge, and resources to bring their innovative ideas to life, ultimately improving patient outcomes and transforming healthcare. Join us on this incredible journey of nursing innovation. Together, let's shape the future of healthcare. Welcome to Innovate Nursing. Challenge 2023. Once again, welcome everyone, welcome, welcome. So that's just a brief. And um, for those that do not know me, I think this is a good point to introduce myself. I am Uluwatobi Adiwumi. Uh, I am a registered nurse and a registered uh, perioperative nurse in Nigeria. And uh, I am the team lead for uh, the Innovate Nurse in Africa. So briefly, what are we about? What are we trying to do? Innovation is not just a boss word. We are, we are in a digital era where we fancy words like innovation, words like technology, words like um, artificial intelligence. All of these things are everywhere. But uh, one thing I want us to understand for us tonight is innovation is not just a boss word. It is a necessity in today's rapidly evolving healthcare landscape, right? It is true innovation that we can address the complex challenges faced by our healthcare system and create transformative solutions that can improve patient outcome, that can enhance the quality of care and also drive efficiency, right? Um, I know that you agree with me that at, as, as registered nurses, as nurses in the clinical area, in the educational sector, in the leadership uh, roles, we are at the forefront of patient care. We are the ones that witness firsthand the gaps and the inefficiencies in our healthcare processes you know, we have a unique perspective and deep understanding of the needs of our patients and healthcare providers, right? This put us in a prime position to be, to be the driving force behind innovative solutions that can revolutionize the healthcare industry and patient care in general. So tonight, what are we doing? We are celebrating the brilliant minds who have risen to the challenge and embraced their roles as nurse innovators. The Innovate Nursing Challenge has brought together nurses, brilliant minds from different regions of the country and uh, uh, from, the, from different specialty in nursing to showcase their groundbreaking ideas, 
to showcase their passion, to showcase their creativity, to, to showcase their solution. And tonight we're going to be celebrating them and also rewarding them for their hard work. You know, throughout this event, uh, I want to tell you that you will be witnessing the power of nursing innovation as our finalists will be presenting their rem remarkable projects. This evening is actually much more than a competition, right? It is not just about the context. It is not just about pitching the ideas. It is about fostering a culture of innovation amidst the nursing communities. As interesting as it sounds that we are the closest to the healthcare challenges, right? Just few of us, only few nurses have risen to that task, have risen to that responsibility of going beyond just being proximal to problems. Only few have to the, to the, to the responsibility of curating solutions that are tailor-made and easily deployable for the for the for the for the for the challenges that have been identified. So tonight is going to through our um, keynote speech, through the contest, through the networking sessions, is going to be about fostering the culture of innovation within the nursing community, especially in Nigeria, right? And um, I just want to urge everyone right here tonight uh, as we embark on this event together. Uh, I want you to just stay calm get your notepad, get your jota, get everything you need, you know, to enjoy this event. It's going to be eye-opening, it's going to be inspiring, it's going to uh, unlock some ideas in your mind, and it's going to uh, sustain the ability to catapult you or to move you from point A to point B in your nursing career, in your life goals as well. So uh, once again, I want to welcome everyone Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023, and I do hope that you have um, uh, a good time here as we go on with this event. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, over to you, Tanaj. Thank you so much, sir. That was a speech from the from the leader. So the next thing we'll be doing now is um hearing from the um what's it called the keynote speaker. But before then, a video will be played for us just to tell us more about the keynote speaker. And I actually want every one of us to get our writing materials, our jotter, our pen, because we are about to learn, we are about to know a lot, like we are about to add to our own knowledge. So I would actually urge every one of us here to get our pen and our jotter. Thank you so much. So the next thing we'll be doing now is playing a video about the keynote speaker. With over 12 years of experience in building the leading health tech company in Nigeria, my care assistant, Abiola Ayala's role as founder and CEO is a reflection of her commitment to improving the lives of others. My care assistant is a fast-rising digital solution that provides caregiving services to vulnerable people, bridging the gap between quality affordable health care and its access to patients and their family members. She is a certified nurse with an active registration at the NMCN, NMC, UK, and the convener of Nurse Digital Transformation Bootcamp, a movement aimed at improving the awareness of health informatics among Nigerian nurses. Its maiden edition hosted over 100 nurses and four nurses won a scholarship to study data analytics. Abiola is also a global speaker who is passionate about personal and professional development and uses her platform ninformatics.com to educate, enlighten, and impact nurses all over the world. Ladies and gentlemen, make welcome, Mrs. Abiola Ayalara.
right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, can we jam our hands together as we bring on board uh, our keynote speaker for tonight? Uh, Ms. Well, I believe she's uh, in our midst right now. You are welcome. Uh, we can see you. We can see your beautiful face already. <laughs> oh, awesome. For some reason, I can't see myself. <laughs> oh, interesting. We can see. Yeah. Oh, wow. I must have clicked on something because I knew I was trying to hide my self view. And because oh. I thought I was going to hide myself from everybody. I don't want everybody to see me. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, it, it, it's really to see you. We really need to oh see that. You know, the, the, the beauty is part of you know the innovation we are talking about. So I mean, oh. beauty can inspire innovation. <laughs> oh my day. Okay. First yeah, of all, welcome. it's 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 a great pleasure to be among um amazing um youngsters like you. It's it's an honor. Trust me. The other day I was at the um Lagos MCPDP. And um, for over 15 years, I haven't heard that word, great nurses, you know what it is. So when you hear great nurses, what, what's the response? Can someone, can you all echo it if you know it? Have that care. I was like, oh my God, it's been a long time I heard that. Like, so when you hear great nurses, and that is what our... You know, our founding days to tell just to encourage us and boost our you know morale so once again this is a very laudable um event very laudable feat it's audacious of the the team that put this together and i'm so so proud of everybody and i'm equally thrilled i mean with the people that are here the other guest speakers the attendees, the organizers, well done, very well done. So yeah, I was asked to do a keynote. Uh, yeah, I'll try to, I, I managed to create a presentation. I know you can see my face and I know nurses are spiritual. They start making some guesses. Oh, why is she looking like this? Like she's just looking. But you guys understand, yeah? You understand, fingers crossed, you do understand. <laughs> Any rest, I'm not getting responses from you. I want to get responses like I'll, if you I'll, 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 I'll speak for myself. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Then okay. Now I think I can now see myself. Fine. All right. So we'll just get right to it. How many minutes do I have so I don't waste our time? 30 minutes, man. And um, we okay. have extra 30 minutes for questions and answers. Oh, fantastic. I'll try to be um to rush things. Thank you for the introduction as well. It's 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 amazing. Thank you. So yeah, you already know. So I'm not I'm not going to bore you with my profile again. It's not necessary. So I'll just go into the the topic which you sent to me a while back. When you guys reached out to me, I was in and out of hospital. I swear to God. At at some point said, let me just cancel. And then I'll say, no, I won't cancel. I'll do this regardless, you know, I, I, it's not a sickness, is it? It was all that. You can't pull me down. So I just got my team on it, like, okay, I'm going to do this, just set up the time and everything, and I'm glad I'm here tonight. So um, the topic, transforming healthcare, if I'm correct. So let me just um, open my slide. Let me share my slide with you guys, and then we comment from there. Um, where is that? It's nothing to, you know, I try to make it as simple as I can. Um, I would assume that everybody here have an understanding of transformation. Transformation is a form of renewal. It's it's away from the old into something new. So even the Bible said, I'm sorry I'm being biblical here, that be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So I think for me, that is what I look at when I'm thinking about digital transformation and the likes, right? So for, for me, 
when I do look at transformation, it is about, like I said, a renewal of your mind, a renewal of the system, a renewal of, of a thing, a renewal of a life, a renewal of work, a renewal of, you know, anything. It's, it's a renewal. And when you are renewing something, different processes, different things come to play. There are so many things that you want to weed out, some things you want to improve upon, some things you want to gain clarity about, and that is what transformation is all about. Now, in healthcare, through nursing innovation, this is powerful because when it comes to transformational healthcare practices, we all know that we are in that era of the internet of things where data is what is, is uh, data is what is driving every decision that people make, especially healthcare policies, patient care, patient care outcomes, decision making, you know, technologies that are being put out there and so many things. And then you begin to ask yourself, all of this thing is happening outside of nursing. So now we want to be inclusive. We are campaigning for inclusion in healthcare technological advancements. And that is why we are saying that, okay, we too can be innovators. We too can contribute to the body of knowledge of science, of healthcare, you know, patient care especially. And there is something that I love to say is that nurses are the custodians of this data. So you see Google, Microsoft bringing out um, new, uh, what's the word now, new tools, saying that you cannot check your blood pressure using your eye watch, or you can check your pulse, you can know, I mean, how fast your heart is beating when you're walking on the road or when you're driving, they can begin to for, you know, for these companies that are not even healthcare companies, but they're able to, you know, channel their expertise, their knowledge and tap into a field that is not properly, you know, aligned and said, you know, we can make money off these people. It's happening. And guess what? As nurses, you are supposed to start thinking of how you can even place yourself in those kind of organizations, in that kind of an ecosystem and begin to add value. Basically, that is what nursing innovation is all about because we hear innovation everywhere, technical innovation. Everybody's innovating something, they are creating something new and it's in a digital format. So now as nurses, if you, you can't be innovative and be in the same place, you have to broaden your horizon. You have to expand your knowledge. You have to, be vast you have to learn a lot of things and yeah that is my um summary and that is what we do at um the nurse digital transformation which is all about helping nurses to identify that look there is more to nursing than just being the bedside nurse there is more to nursing than just being a pediatric nurse i love the fact that i that i am the person that gave the introductory speech you know, he's the, I think he mentioned pediatrics and something. I can't remember for some reason that got off my head, but I know that you are doing something, you know, primarily at the same time you're pursuing this drive towards what healthcare technological, you know, knowledge for yourself and for even the wider nursing network at large. So yeah, that is what nursing innovation is all about. Placing yourself inside, if I'm outside of the nursing field, in those places, in those um, ecosystem where technology is driving decision-making in healthcare as a nurse professional. Two years ago, I got a scholarship to study health informatics in the UK, you know, the reason they brought that about was well, there was this thing they called the topo review. I would want all of you to get that down. It's called topo review. That is the name of the guy, topo. I think he was the minister for health or stems that are, that are um, peculiar to, to a, a, a location. So you can be useful. So sometimes they'll be like, oh, why do I have to do this? It's not necessary. And by the time we have... What is the impact and effectiveness of nursing initiatives? 
of all the nursing initiatives, so I'm sure we've seen a lot. Is anybody measuring the impact of this initiative in order to say that indeed they are useful, methodical, evidence-based, and replicable, right? You want to ask yourself these questions. These are researchable questions. In fact, most of the things I've talked about are all researchable ideologies that you can just, you know, explore if you want to be a digitally driven nursing professional, right? I'm getting towards the end. So now, innovation, 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 innovation. For me, according to our business review, collaborative innovation is the process of skilled professionals or teams combining their knowledge, skills, experience, and resources to create or improve upon a solution for a common benefit. What does this imply? It means that I'm not saying don't try something new. I'm just saying, why not bring your skills together and begin to think in a collaborative manner? There, is, there are many fintech companies that if you have an idea that would maybe, for like, example, let's use economy. Economy is a women, a fintech women bank or something, right? And we have <laughs> their database, obviously, all women. Yeah. What is the problem of women? What kind of information do you want to pass there to all women? How can you get their API to connect with yours? You understand? To improve visibility, the education and awareness for those people using her economy. Not just you doing and say that, oh, it's me that did it. I want to do it myself. No. For our own mobile health app, app really, I'm sorry, that is already um, at the better phase of testing for a while now. We had to pause at some point because we're like, no, I told my team, we can't continue like this. We, we can't isolate everything because we would need to partner. We would do a lot of partnerships and collaborations. Health insurance companies, pharmaceuticals, hospitals, you know, and, and the likes. Collaboration is now the future of innovation. That is it. So begin to think collaboratively in your quest for innovating something. I hope this helps. And these are some websites that you can explore about nurse innovators. What have they done really? You want to ask yourself, who are those innovators in nursing? What have they done that nobody else has done before? Or what have they improved upon? You understand? And then you get more. For well, my care assistants, how are we using this digital, you know, this technology to improve our, you know, systems or to actually tell the world, okay, we are digitally driven. We do telecare consult. We develop an, a learning management system for CPDs and caregiver conditional training. We are in collaboration with British, British Council. We are affiliated with an international healthcare organization for our certifications. At the better face of our mobile health app, and we are not even in a hurry, hurry with that one because the system we're using right now is highly functional. So we are not in a hurry. You, know, you understand? Just about you thinking about what works for you right now and continue to establish on it. And once you get enough leverage, you now move to the next phase. Do you understand? Because you want to consider, hmm, by the time you start this on financial analysis of what you're doing, you don't want to get to that point where investors will say that, oh, we can't see the future of any of what you're doing. You don't want that. We have we're in partners with a specialist hospital to provide internship opportunities. Guess what? All of these things we do digitally, online. We don't even have an office. I work from home. All my team work virtually. We only come together to hang out. You know what it likes? And I'm a nurse. <laughs> You know, we only come together to go watch a movie or maybe we have a conference we need to attend and then that's just it, right? And there's, there's several things you can do, trust me. So yeah, thank you very much for listening to my little speech. I hope it's of use to you. Thank you for having me.
Wow. Wow. I mean, uh, any question? Uh, yeah, we, we're going to the question, but uh, be, before we go to the questions and answer, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away, right? This is an eye opener for me personally. And um, while you were speaking, my, I could quite relate with uh, a number of things um, you, you mentioned, right? Um, you know, uh, we, we started by talking about digitization, digitalization, and um, uh, digital transformation, right? Uh, before I continue, please, if you have any question, anything at all uh, you need to ask or you want to clarify or you want to know about um, nursing innovation or innovation in healthcare generally, please drop it in the chat box. Uh, the questions will be attended to, right? Uh, Okay, so like uh, I was saying, really, it's I could relate with some things, right? You, you made mention of some very key points that I want to reiterate so that everybody could pick again. The first one is that I could relate with is um, innovation is not I, is beyond I. You know, sometimes you get excited that oh, I want to create something, so let me build something. And you made mention of the fact that if your innovation is not meeting a need, then there is no need for it. Right, the, the basis and the foundation of all innovation should be that a need is being met. Right, uh, I uh, there was uh, something we are building uh, with my team. Uh, it's uh, a, a platform to facilitate the access to healthcare products and services in Nigeria. And um, you know, at, at the point we are to pause to like, okay, okay, guys, calm down. We we're already excited. We are building a startup, and all of those things were there. But at the junction, we have to wait. Like, okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. What are the things we need? What are the partnerships we need to secure? What are the collaborations we need? What are the support? What are the infrastructures? And you know, a lot of these things. So innovation goes beyond the hype, right? We must really be meeting um, a need, right? And um, that would drive me to a question uh, very quickly, ma'am. Uh, you know, a lot of us, especially nurses, and I mean, general populace, we think of innovation in terms of technology alone. Right, most innovation always have to deal with technology. What are the people that cannot code or cannot write all of those things? What are the people that doesn't know product design? What are those people that are not business oriented? Right, yeah. is, is it just about technology? Is it just about um, you know all of those things? So we want you to throw more light on that, ma'am. Okay, so I can notice I I mentioned somewhere that if you want to see a lot of nursing innovators. That you should click on the link, which it was, it was, it was in the record, it was in the slide that I presented earlier. And yes, Florence Nightingale was an innovator. All those um, people that wrote the theories that we are all using today, they innovated it. Do you get me? So it's not all about you try right um, designing a technology. The only thing is that now technology is making it accessible to many more people all over the world but you can do something in your own you know space little space at the end of the day cannot be amplified technologically eventually so it, tech, innovation is not just about um about doing something techy no you can think about you can identify a problem provide a solution to it and then it is and it's been tested it's working then we now want to use technology to drive it basically yeah yeah i hope that helps excuse me wow thank you so much thank you so much uh that's really enlightening so innovation is not just technology alone. as long as you are meeting a need it could be in terms of a physical product it could be in terms of services it could even be in forms of policies you could be seeing that some things are not done rightly and um you have an idea of you no know, policies that could be enacted to make things go well. It's it's some sort of innovations as well, right? Thank you so much for throwing uh for shedding more light on that. Um, I can see one question in the chat box, and I think it's uh, quite personal. Someone is asking, uh, how they can be part of my care assistance or how they can join, and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's a very good question. I would say that because we used to put it out there that we need nurses to work with us. But for some reason, Nigerian nurses or nurses generally, they don't, I'm, I'm not sure they, they can, they are yet to even grasp what telehealth or telenursing is all about. So we got one um, um, NYSC graduate 
nurse, she did her interview. Oh, she was like, oh, she's done research before. She's good with data. And that is what she wants to do. And then after one month, she, if I, after 20 days, she resigned. And then we asked, what, what happened? She said, um, she thought she was going to be having some clinical, except I was like, are you not tired of the bed, sir? It was wrong with you. But give me your soft life here. You're saying you don't want. <laughs> the thing is that what you're doing, it can be challenging because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of paperwork. It's a lot of mental toughness that is needed to run a virtual operation. So the, when we have nurses come and then we give them an introduction to the business and once they just hear all the things we do, ah, hey, they will just run. I'm telling you, that has been the issue. But yes, we are open to even interning nurses. We are, we are open to having them come and just experience what we're doing. You know, if anyone, you can apply, send, go to our website or yeah, our website www.mycareassistant.ng and maybe use the contact link to drop your inquiries and that should that should help yeah all right um thank you so much uh that was uh, that's okay. awesome. uh please can you mute yourself um uh, Bless her. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Right. Uh, so, thank you so much once again, Ma. That, that was a really uh, awesome and eye-opening as well. And um, okay, so we have the website in the chat box, um, www.mycareassistant.ng. So you can just um, visit yeah, if you uh, would like to be part of what MCA is doing. Right. Um, at this point, I wouldn't want to keep you uh, any longer on the call. You've really uh, done justice to this. Uh, thank you so much. Innovate North in Africa is very grateful for having you. It, sorry. There's a question here. Yes, I'm, I'm, I just saw that now. Let me see. Okay, I, I think, um, can I just read that question out, uh, Mrs. Ayla? Absolutely, yeah, you can. All right, so uh, says, thank you very much. I left a meeting to join this session and the question on helping NAM, that's the uh, uh, National Association of Nigerian Nurses and Midwives with some innovations came up and I insisted that there are young nurses who will be glad to, okay, let me see that. Okay, who will be glad to assist. I actually don't have anybody in mind apart from myself. My question is, is there any way we can strengthen our NAM with volunteering to support the initiative of NAM? Thank that's you. That's why we have. That's why we have you guys now. Look at all of you. You know, the, 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 we are the volunteers, sir. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, now see the thing is that let us be careful with the word innovation. What 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 do we want to innovate? What is in existence? We have. Should we start from digitization first? <laughs> or digitalization of their processes, or even developing processes for them, automated processes. You know, before we now start saying that, okay, we want to innovate something, do you understand? Or even, even before transformation, right? The issue is, are they ready to drive an innovation? Well, yeah. So until we, we put ourselves out there, we just need to keep trying, because I don't like people, I don't like it when we are being complacent, like, oh, are they ready? Do they want to do it? The truth is that you offer yourself. When you offer yourself and it is not worth your time, then you leave and then you know you've contributed your quota, all right? So that we don't discourage other people that are willing. Interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for that. So uh, I think from that point, it is um, essential that for us, we need to begin to drive and, uh, you know, facilitate that culture because much more than the hype and all, there must be uh, a mindset that is ready to, you know, put in all of the work that is that is required to actually innovate. Innovation starts from identifying a problem, taking it upon yourself to come up with solutions and, of course, go ahead and uh, deploy uh, and develop such uh, solutions as well, right? So thank 
thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much once again. Uh, uh, any other question apart from here would be uh, addressed on the uh, participants page. Uh, if there's any other thing you need to answer specifically, uh, we'll do well to reach out to you. Uh, once okay. again, we are so grateful from um, Innovate um, North in Africa. Uh, uh, we believe that when next uh, we reach out to you, uh, you will gladly accept us. Right. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Ailara. We are so grateful. Uh, please, everybody, we have more than 70 participants right now. Can I get a big thank you from the chat thank box? You. Let it roll thank in. You. Let it roll in right thank now. You. From the chat session, you. your reactions, everything. Let me get a lot of thank, thank you. Yeah, it's rolling in. It's rolling in. It's rolling in. Thank you so much, Ma. We are it's really grateful. And um, uh, we would like Thank to you. release you now. No problem. Have a lovely event. And all the best to the innovators. I wish you all the best in your challenge later on. Bye. All right, that was that was an amazing session. That was an amazing, really, really amazing session. And um, right about now, we are going to move uh, into the next session. Like I said, this event is time bound, and uh, we won't want to we won't want to keep uh, us here for so long, right? So uh, we are going into the next session, and that is one of the sessions we have been waiting for in this event, and that is where we are going to be having the grand finale, the pitch, the final pitch from all of our contestants. Before we go into that session, let me let me just tell us a brief of um, how we started. Uh, about two to three months ago, we, we, we started the uh, uh, registration for the Innovate Nursing Challenge. So in summary, we had about 40 participants uh, who registered from all over the country, people from the north, from the uh, southwest, north central, from all over. We even had candidates who registered from other part of, uh, you know, the African countries, right? And um, our judges have been able to, through some criteria that have been uh, predetermined, they've been able to um, filter this group. They all submitted very brilliant ideas. Right, but then somebody must win, and part of our uh, 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 selection process is that only three people are going to proceed into the final stage of this event. Right, and here we are at the finals. We have three contestants who have been able to make their way into the grand finale, and right about now, we want to hear from them. They are going to be sharing their ideas with us. They are going to be pitching their ideas. Uh, they are going to be telling us the problems they've identified, the solution they are bringing up, their product, and what impact this is going to have on the healthcare system. So right about now, I am going to hand over uh, right now to the judges of this event. But before I hand over to the judges, uh, we would like to introduce the judges uh, to everyone here right now. We, we would like to introduce the judges. These ones have been so hard working. I mean, for the past... Uh, more than one month ago now, they've been on this event. Day and night, we've been scrutinizing and, you know, uh, trying to bring out the uh, best ideas that, you know, will qualify for this event that we are having tonight. So the challenge is about to begin. But like I said, I'm going to be handing over to the judges right now. Let's listen to the, the introduction of our judges for tonight. So we have... Five of them on board right now. We have five of our judges on board. So I'm going to be playing their profile in the video. Please follow carefully. It's quite long because we have great people, people who are innovating, people who have been there, they've done that. I'm going to be playing their profile right now. Watch carefully. Don't leave the challenge. Olayinka Aramu is a Irish registered nurse, 
and Clinical Nurse Manager 2 and Patient Flow Outreach Manager. A PhD scholar at the Trinity College Dublin developing a nurse-led co-design care transition tool to improve discharge communications and care transition of older patients. Founder and CEO of NCO Healthcare Consulting Ltd, aimed at improving quality care transitioning across healthcare. Settings and mentoring slash coaching other nurses in their career pathways. Ian LaDaniel believes in the power of community and that together we can do more. As a prolific, passionate, and experienced writer, editor, leader, entrepreneur, and community builder, Daniel always seeks ways to impact people's lives and solve problems. He brings his vast background in healthcare as an experienced critical care practitioner into the online healthcare ecosystem. Daniel helps. Ambitious healthcare and health tech brands build digital communities by combining his skills as a writer and editor, media product developer, digital builder, web manager, solutions architect, innovator, and leader. He thinks healthcare and health tech brands can achieve greater success by establishing robust digital communities centered around their brand ideas, principles, and services. His passion has led him to start building digital communities of his own which include, Care City, an online healthcare media publishing startup, Care Code Digital Health Hub, a startup focused on exposing healthcare professionals to the realities of digital technologies, artificial intelligence, big data, Web3, blockchain, etc., and how they can leverage these technologies in improving healthcare delivery and practice, especially in Africa. Evolve Health Media, an agency helping future thinking healthcare and health tech brands build digital communities, design solid marketing strategies, and create distinctive brand identities. Daniel is currently the editorial officer of the Institute of Nursing Research Nigeria and focusing on Young Nurses Initiative, where he coordinates and develops content for publication on their official websites. He has worked closely with healthcare and health tech brands in Nigeria and beyond on several exciting, innovative projects. He has also been a review judge for national technology hackathons e.g. AI Commons and Data Science Nigeria, 2020 and the Professor Iadili Awojobi Design Competition, 2022. As a community builder, leader, and innovator, Daniel always seeks productive partnerships and relationships that will translate to lasting community impact. I respect leaders, entrepreneurs, innovators, and professionals who go out of their way to effect change and impact lives. Alyadola Vivian Awoziku is a digital health professional and recent graduate of the University of Ibadan, where she obtained a degree in medical laboratory science. With a certification in digital health from Ashabai Africa, Ghana, she has been focused on improving healthcare in Africa by leveraging technology, entrepreneurship, and healthcare data. Alyadola has been recognized for her innovative solutions to healthcare problems. She was the executive director of the winning team at the MIT Hacking Racism in Healthcare 2020 competition, where they developed a digital health mobile app to increase BIPOC participation in clinical trials. She also led her team to a second runner-up position at the Inspire Africa Innovation Challenge 2020 and was the winner of the Facebook Epidemiology Designathon 2021, where her team presented a web-based disease surveillance system. Their solution has been approved by the Lagos state government and is set to be deployed in 22 healthcare facilities to improve Nigeria's pandemic preparedness. In addition, she has also been appointed as head of operations at Digital Health Africa and currently works as the chief information officer at HealthStack. Solutions Limited, a digital health startup in Nigeria. Alyadola is passionate about promoting diversity and inclusion in healthcare innovations and has established the first African One Health Tech community in Ibadan. Her efforts have resulted in a community of over 100 young health tech enthusiasts and professionals working towards improving health and well-being in Africa. Alyadola has been recognized for her contributions to the health tech space in Africa with an award from the Africa Healthcare Awards 2021 as the rising star in health technology. With her exceptional leadership skills and innovative ideas, Alyadola Vivian Awoziku is a promising young leader in the health tech community in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. Inmasit Atuk, who loves to be called Inam, is a Nigerian-born and bred registered nurse. She attended Afbabalola University, 
Aduakiti, where she obtained her BSc degree and RN certificate. With five years of experience and counting, she had worked in different departments such as the ER, pediatrics, the NICU and occupational health before she transitioned into health tech as a clinical nurse. Navigator, where she worked for almost a year. Due to her love for innovation and exploration in the nursing profession, she relocated to Canada in March 2022. She is an advocate for nursing beyond the bedside, and does a little bit of career pathway consultation. Her interests lie in nursing innovation and entrepreneurship, leading her and some other great nurses to build an innovation lab for nurses called Spice Lab, which is still in the works and will be launching soon. Ajedokan Oluwagbi Misala is a multifaceted individual with a wide range of interests and experiences. As a registered nurse, she has a deep passion for caring for others and ensuring that everyone receives the best possible care. She is also a software developer, and I love using my skills to create innovative solutions that make a positive impact on the world around me. In her words, she said, I'm a lover of God and strive to be a light in the world, spreading love, kindness and positivity wherever I go. In her free time, she enjoy cooking and trying out new recipes. She also enjoys exploring new places and trying new things. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board our judges for tonight. Uh, and um, the chief judge is going to be the person of I good. I, I feel I feel uh, I don't know how to pronounce that name again right now. It's <laughs> it's a privilege having you once again, uh Nos Kuchala. You're welcome. Uh Nos Olayinka Aremu is going to be the chief judge for tonight. And at this junction, uh, I'm going to be handing over to her. All right, so uh, before I hand over right now, if you are on this uh, event, go right now and invite everybody. This is a part you don't want to meet. Go and bring everyone here. If you are a contestant, it is time to bring in your supporters, your cheerleaders. Anybody who wants to bring your family members from the village, from anywhere you're joining from, let everybody come in right now. It is time, right? So. Nos Coach Ola, you are welcome once again. Over to you, ma'am. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi. Can you hear me? Yes, clearly. Okay. Um, I bring greetings from the Republic of Ireland. Um, thank you so much for having me. Thank you to the organizers. I see it's a full house, and I've been here since, I don't know if Aguilara is still here. That was a brilliant um presentation very very brilliant and you know speaks volume uh to what we are here for and what nursing stand for and the future of nursing as well um we go straight because it's been a very long time um and we have to wrap up as soon as possible we want to have our winners right um so dear nurses great nurses here distinguished guests and of course talented candidates that we have here. I welcome you to the final pitch of the Innovate Nursing Challenge. Uh, today, I'm here humbly before you, not only as a judge, but also as a nurse innovator who has been fortunate enough to witness firsthand our innovation in transforming our patient care. Um, as a candidate myself, for the Sunsail, I don't know how many of you are aware of Sunsail, Academy in the US, United States of America, 2021. And I happened to be part of that crew and was fortunate enough to get a scholarship. So it's been a long time coming with um, innovation. So I can feel I'm, I've been on a hot seat like you, uh, like this before as well. So um, I work with Respirate Africa as well, you know, submitted to proposals everywhere. I know I don't make and testify. I know what it means to be in this position for the candidates. Uh, in here in Ireland, I'm also building um, an innovation hub, trans transit care, and it's really been tough. Um, you know, I've participated in the health innovation program in Ireland, submitted proposals and things like that. So it's been a journey, I can feel your pain. So. 
uh, throughout my journey as a nurse, like I said, I've encountered countless opportunities where creativity and outside the box thinking has made a profound impact. And I just wanted to see today, like you are making a huge difference even by being here, not just the candidate themselves, but including everybody, all the participants here, you are making a difference. As a nurse innovator, I understand that there are and you know, immense potential that lies within our field. Uh, we sometimes we say we are improvising, but I want to say that your improvisation is the beginning of innovation. Uh, although this comes with sometimes moments of frustrations, where sometimes the status quo seem unchangeable. Uh, it seems like, why do you want to change it? This is what we've been used to. Uh, I know you've heard that a lot of time. But I've also witnessed the immense power of perseverance, collaboration, and a shared vision to overcome those challenges. As a black nurse myself, you know, in, in a white dominant country, you know, you can imagine the challenges when you want to make the change and the, you know, the bottlenecks, the, you know, the limitations and the restrictions you get. So going forward to so the candidates present today, I want to commend you for your courage and dedication for challenging the norms to thinking differently and to finding solutions where others may have seen roadblocks. Your innovative spirit inspire us all and remind us of the incredible possibility that exist within nursing, especially in Nigeria. So just to say this, that innovation is not just about, uh, just like Ayilara said, it's not just about groundbreaking technologies or complex solutions. It is about recognizing the needs of our patients listening to their voices and finding creative ways to address those needs. So it is about embracing the spirit of continuous improvement. Uh, it's not like a one size fits all or, or like and um, a solution that you just wake up to the second day. So I encourage each and every one of you, we're going to have a winner. Uh, fortunately and unfortunately, you know, one person have to win. But to encourage you all, uh, even after this, uh, program today to share your personal experiences, to share your stories of innovation, to share your unique perspective with others. In doing so, you will not only inspire others, but also contribute to the collective wisdom of the nursing community. And to the audience gathered here today, I invite you to open your minds and hearts to the trans transformative ideas and solutions that will be presented and base the spirit of innovation as well. Ask thoughtful, provoking questions here and after, and also engage in meaningful conversations where necessary. You know, together we can amplify the impact of these brilliant minds that will be pitching today and shape the future awareness innovation tries. So finally, I really want to express my gratitude to the organizers, uh, Innovate Nursery Challenge, Hadeo, me and team, the, my co-judges, a long ride. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, <laughs> accepting me as a judge. And to all those who have supported this remarkable event, your commitment to fostering innovation in nursing is commendable. And I'm honored to be part of it. So that being said, with great anticipation and excitement, let us now begin the final pitch of the Innovate Nursing Challenge. I think the judge, some of the other judges might have one or two things to say. Uh, we're going to give them the opportunity. But again, together, let us celebrate the power of innovation and you know, chart a course for a better future in healthcare. Thank you. Thank you. presentation that lies ahead. Thank you. Uh, I'm, not the, I'm not the one contesting, but I don't know what my art rate is right now. Well, uh, okay, uh, I would like to give other judges uh, the, the opportunity to say one or two things uh, as well if there is anybody that I would like to say. But So I'm going to just call names. Um, Mr. Daniel Ayla, are you with us, sir? Would you like to say hello to the contestants and the audience this evening? Yeah, thank you so much, Adeomi. Thank you so much, Ms. Kushola. Thank you so much to our guests. Um, so excited right now. It's a big step that we are taking as nurses in Africa to build communities and groom innovators. I believe that as we go ahead, we are going to create uh, an ecosystem that will nurture 
a lot of nodes, innovators, and leaders who will design uh, solutions to problems that we need right now in Africa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Daniel. Uh, glad to have you as one of the judges. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to call on um, Vivian, Vivian Awashiku. Uh, you're welcome. Would you like to say hello to the uh, contestant tonight? Oh, is Vivian with us? Okay, maybe she's not here. Uh, I would like to call on Uluagbe uh, Misola Ojedokun, who is also one of our judges tonight. Uh, Misola, would you like to say hello to the participants tonight? Okay, and uh, moving on, I guess in name. Um, okay, okay, I think, yeah, I got a message now. Yeah, we can proceed. Um, no scotchella. Uh, we can proceed at this point, ma, to the uh, contest. So um, let me just uh, make you aware of this. Before each um, contestant comes up, uh, I don't know what arrangements you have at your end, but before each of the contestants, we are going to play a video uh, biography of each of them before their um, pitch. Thank you, ma. That's fine. Do you want to go ahead um, with the first candidate? Oh, yeah, we, we can go ahead with the first candidate. Uh, you, you can just let us know who the first candidate is, and um, we can go ahead. OK, uh, just one second. So the first candidate uh, is Moji Sola. Can we have Moji Sola, please? Tijani Moji Sola Titi Lope is a dedicated and ambitious young lady hailing from Ibadan, Oyo State, Nigeria. Tijani Moji Sola has shown immense potential and passion in the field of nursing and healthcare. Tijani Moji Sola completed her primary education in Akoradu, Lagos State, and went on to pursue her secondary education at Tadab College, Abiokuda, Ogun State. In October 2020, she began her journey in nursing school and is currently a final year student at Oyo State College of Nursing and Midwifery, El Isle, Ibadan. Driven by a desire to excel in her field, she aspires to further her education and career in nephrology nursing and forensic nursing. She has a strong inclination toward leadership and politics and has actively engaged in various leadership roles. She served as the public relations officer for the National Association of Nigerian Student Nurses and Midwives, NANSN, Southwest Zone during the 2021-2022 tenure and currently holds the position of Zonal Coordinator, overseeing the affairs of approximately 17 colleges of nursing and midwifery within the zone. Additionally, she serves as the Publicity Strategist and Partnership Manager of the latest and dynamic nursing organization, Trailblazing Nursing Nexus, TNN, which celebrates and empowers nurses while fostering connections and knowledge sharing among professionals. Tajani Mojisola has nurtured her writing skills and attained certification in copywriting, positioning herself as a certified copywriter since 2021. She is currently pursuing a certification in project management from the University of California, Irvine through Coursera to establish a career in healthcare project management. She is also an active participant in the Institute of Nursing Research Journal Club, IJC, Cohort 5, as she is passionate about nursing research and the changes it brings to the nursing world. With a keen interest in nursing informatics, Tijani Mojisola is currently engaged in a research project on the effects of nursing informatics in improving nursing practice. Her dedication extends to exploring healthcare technology further, with specific interests in data analytics, cybersecurity, and web development, 
which has made her pursue a professional certification course in data analytics with Excel and are offered by IBM through Coursera. Tajani Mojisola recognizes the importance of cybersecurity in safeguarding healthcare technological advancements and advocates for the presence of cybersecurity experts within the healthcare industry. With her unwavering passion for nursing, leadership, innovation, and research, Tajani Mojisola Titilov is poised to make significant contributions to the healthcare field and shape the future of nursing. Welcome there, uh, Tijani Mojisola. I, I understand that this is a team of two and Obafemi uh, to be represented by Tijani Mojisola there. Can we have a video on, please? So we have three minutes to, when you're ready, can you just let us know when you're ready, when you're ready, and then your three minutes to start for the audience, uh, you have three minutes to present their pitch. When you're ready, you can say I'm ready and then we'll start the time. Um, knows, uh, Ayala will help us with the timekeeping as well. Are you ready, Mojisala? I can't hear you. I'm ready. Okay, so your time starts now. Three minutes for pitch. Thank you. Okay, my name is Tijani Mojisola. My team name is Aro Shigli Obafemi, and we are a team that is passionate about nursing profession and improvement and bringing impact, positive impact to other students and the nursing profession at large. So, what is the problem that we are trying to address? Challenges impacting the 21st century nursing students, academic performance has been traced to insufficient learning experiences, insufficient manpower, insufficient standardized learning materials and standard applications. As at March 2023, about 10,000 Nigerian nurses have moved into the UK alone, thereby leaving students with poor access to information and learning resources. Also, we have over 100 million Nigerians accessing the internet through their mobile phones, which makes this a leverage for mobile phones to be used as a source of learning. Also, a study conducted in Ghana in 2014 revealed that inadequate tutors in the nursing training institutions were primarily attributed to poor remunerations compared to governmental agencies like the Ministry of Health. And the same is also being said as we have very limited amount qualified nursing tutors and that it is negatively impacting the instructional quality of the nursing educational system. Also, the lack of access to standardized and essential nursing materials in Nigeria contributes to students' inability to complete the syllabus within the designated time frame. So what then is the proposed solution? The proposed solution is to digitize the nursing administrative standardized curriculum into an explicit application that will include relevant courses that are tailored to, the, to each cadre with their course outlines lecture notes, OSCE procedure guidelines, and also a progress tracking system to aid personalized learning. So what are the features of this application? We can have the login feature to make it exclusive to nursing students alone, curriculum structured into modules and units, relevant notes and courses, and resource materials, videos and animations for clinical procedures, quizzes and assignments, notification and tracking features, news and articles to keep students abreast with the latest trends in nursing profession around the world, discussion forums, and also very friendly user interfaces. So what is the impact of this in the healthcare system? Majorly, this innovative ideas and applications combat insufficient learning experiences. It will also help the few nursing educators in the system, and also it will help the profession to stand out in the digital, ever advancing digital world and drive exchange in this post-pandemic period. 
Also, the application will help to improve personalized learning, allowing students to learn at their own pace and tracking their own progress by themselves. So how would we utilize this cash prize? There'll be procurement of a domain as, as well as hosting it for a year and building up it, building it up into an application after it has reached from a website. Then payment of the application developers, advancement of the application and web, website as the year goes by to improve the experiences. Also bug fixing and cyber security. Time off. Without details. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, MJ and Obafemi. I think we can appreciate them. That was a good one. Uh, unfortunately, we have to keep to the time. Um, so we will go straight to the next candidates. What do you mean? <coughs> so do me there. So the oh, next yeah. candidate, yeah. The next candidate is Ola Dejo Christiana. Can we have a profile, please? Christiana Olejo is an experienced registered nurse with a diverse background in various specialties. Additionally, she is an entrepreneur. She obtained her RN certification from the School of Nursing, Edo Akiti, and is currently in her final year at Ladakai Kentola University of Technology, Ogbomiso. Christiana is widely recognized for her brand, Manola, a scrubs and uniforms company she established in 2020 in Nigeria. Furthermore, she is the founder of Totes City, a business-to-business -business brand that focuses on tote bags. She is also the visionary behind Regal Inspiration, an online fashion site that caters to stylish women with a godly essence. Christiana possesses a strong interest in oncologic research and is actively pursuing a career in that field. She is driven by purpose and exhibits a deep passion for personal growth, leadership, relationships, and entrepreneurship. Apart from her work in nursing and business, she finds enjoyment in reading, writing, and cultivating meaningful connections. Can we have your video on, please, Christiana? Can you come on video, Christiana, please? Are you ready? Hi, Christiana. Can you hear me? Okay. You need to unmute yourself. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Ma. Good evening, Okay. Ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. So you have three minutes for your pitch. If you want to share your slide, that's fine. I think that was done already. So. Thanks, Stats. Thank you. Good day, everyone. It's a privilege to stand before you today as I take you on a journey into solving our next care challenge. I am Christiana Holadejo, a registered nurse in Nigeria and an entrepreneur. 
I'm honored to be a finalist in the Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023. Imagine a world where it gets not limited by language barriers, cultural differences, or a lack of accessibility. Today, I present before you a solution that aims to bridge these gaps and revolutionize healthcare. Problems identified. In recent years, it's been observed that health monitoring apps have gained significant popularity worldwide. However, there's a glaring disparity in the distribution of these apps across the globe, particularly in Africa. Now, these are the problems that have been identified. As a result of over 2,000 ethnic groups and diverse languages, it's been difficult to establish a proper communication flow between healthcare providers and their patients. Hence, there is bridge in communication. There has been adequate preventive care and disease management. There has been perpetuated inequalities in healthcare outcomes and also poor adherence in treatment regimen. What's the solution we are proposing? The affirmation problems calls for a solution. And that is why I'm proposing a solution that aims to address this issue called My Health Part App. This health monitoring app is designed to revolutionize the way individuals manage their health. Here are some of its key highlights. They love cultural and linguistic support, personalized health tracking, community support, and engagement. Here is the prototype, a simple mock-up of how the app will look like when it's being launched. The first picture shows a splash screen showcasing how the app is launched. The second picture shows the sign-in login page. The third picture shows the home page. The fourth picture shows the feature page. Wow. The last feature shows another feature page that indicates all the features on the app. Impact of my health part app on patient care and health care. This health monitoring app has the potential to create a significant positive impact on patient care and health care in Africa. And here are some of the ways in which the app can bring about positive change. Increased life expectancy, empowered self-management, improved health care accessibility, and enhanced patient adherence to treatment regimen. Now we are going to cash price utilization. The importance of cash price in fueling the growth and progress of this health monitoring hub cannot be overemphasized. Below is the fund allocation breakdown. 40% of the cash price to be given goes to research and development. 30% goes into marketing and user acquisition. 20% goes into user support and training, while 10% will be allocated to legal and administrative costs. As I conclude, I want to reiterate my unwavering enthusiasm and commitment to making a positive impact in healthcare, particularly in addressing the language disparity in health time up. monitoring. Thank you very health. much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate um, Christiana Oladejo there. Thank you. Thank you. That was brilliant. Okay, so, and the last one on the list. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will go to the third candidate there, and third candidate is additional Timothy. So can we have additional Timothy's profile, please? Uh, additional Timothy, if you can come on video, that will be appreciated. Thank you. Adazina Timothy Bolia Watif is a Christian and a dynamic nursing professional with a diploma in general nursing from the esteemed School of Nursing, University College Hospital, Ibadan where he served as the president of the student union government. With a deep interest in innovation, he has passion for making notable contributions to the field of nursing. Adazina's experience includes serving as a staff nurse at Irisco Global Care Services, and home care agency in Lagos where he provided compassionate care to patients. He is driven by a passion for integrating technology and innovation into nursing practice to enhance patient outcomes. Having good knowledge, skills, and expertise in branding and product design, he has previously worked as a brand designer for TechShock, an EdTech startup company in the United States. As an avid reader and critical thinker, Adazina seeks opportunities to expand his knowledge and engage in thought-provoking conversations. He finds relaxation and inspiration through playing video games. Adazina Timothy Bolia Watif is dedicated to advancing nursing care and improving patients' lives through his commitment to continuous learning, innovative thinking, and compassionate practice.
Welcome, additional Timothy. You're very welcome. Good evening, Ma. Good evening. Are you ready? Mama, don't fool, don't fool. I want to touch. Are you ready for us? Yes, Ma, I'm ready. Okay, thank you very much. Your time starts now. Good evening, You're frozen or you're muted. Can you speak? Okay. Okay, go ahead, please. So we'll start again. All right, thank you. Good evening. Say a very big thank you to everyone for being here. Going straight to my presentation tonight, we all can agree with me that there is a massive global problem in healthcare system today. And what's the problem? The medication management problem faced by nurses in their workspace. Studies show that in, in each year in the United States alone, 2,000 people die as a result of medication problem and error committed by healthcare professionals, most especially nurses. Now, what are the problems? One, difficulties in accurately calculating doses, especially with complex prescriptions, difficulties in remembering to administer patient medication due to work overload on nurses, inadequate access to a centralized medication database, time consuming nature of manually documenting medication administration. And the last one is for healthcare professionals to deliberate on medication management. I strongly believe that there is to every problem there is a solution, and the gap between problem and solution is innovation. That means without innovation, there is no provision for solution. So that's why I've come up with this massive innovation to solution innovation to what I've discovered as a problem. Now I've come up with a massive solution proposal known as Jobwise in the form of mobile application. It is the ultimate solution to medication management problem faced by nurses in their workplace. Now, product, now to the product explanation. These are the features of the app. These are the screens. So what does the app do? Number one, medication reminder. This allows nurses to set alarm, inform, set alarm on the app that can remind nurses to administer medication as I went to use a calculator. This, uh, this is a powered. This is an Alpha intelligence power dosage calculator to assist nurses in accurately calculating medication dosage based on feature parameters. Next is centralized medication database. These provide nurses with enough information about medication, which can be achieved at any time. Barcode scanning. With this barcode scanning, nurses can easily scan medication and it's going to bring up all necessary information about the medication. And the last is secure communication platform. With this, nurses can easily collaborate with healthcare professionals and deliberate of matters concerning medication administration. Now, what are the impacts? How is it going to impact nursing and even healthcare in general? One, it tends to one, it tends to enhance medication adherence. It increases nurses' efficiency. It provides massive error reduction. It improves patient satisfaction. It can be used in data analysis. It reduces cost of healthcare. It gives us some improved communication and collaboration, and is very adaptable to different healthcare settings. Now, the cash price utilization. If I get to win. I'll allocate plan of this for towards establishing partnership with organization or individuals who can provide additional resources, expertise, or support for my project. Currently, there's a discussion going on between myself and the founder of National Drug Recapulation Competition for nurses in person in Osugunla Bill. I'll also make sure I conduct research and planning. The plan of the four will allocate towards conducting further research, market analysis, and planning. This will help me to refine my concept and identify my key challenges and determine the best approach for bringing this idea to life. Pilot project. I will also thank you. This. I'm up. Thank you very much. A round of applause to additional Timothy, and then let's give a triple, double, and a single round of applause to all the contestants. You can unmute to clap. You're allowed. The pitch is over, right? You can unmute to clap. The pitch is over. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. I need to clap. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just before we continue, I'm just going to leave it open. A question each from to each of them, just one question each. 
Okay. And just to say that this question okay. has nothing to do with the scoring of your pitch. So we just want to ask you a few questions. Is that okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good job to the innovators. I've seen that, that, that you guys have um, improved your, 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 your slides. So you're doing a good job. So it means you have really put a lot of work into the slides. So um, for the questions, I want to ask, uh, because, was, because this, 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 these um, solutions are all app-based, if I'm not mistaken. Most of them are, are, are app-based. And um, do you think you will be able to use 200,000 to develop an app? Yes. So yes. So have you have you really put it into into perspective? Like, okay, if you get the money now, how can you use what 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 other um, plan apart from? Because in competitions like this, even if they're going to give you two million or three million, the cash prize is not just meant for you to to arrange the whole project. The cash prize has its own. Um, its own goal. So now, what what do you want to do? What do you want to do with with the two hundred thousand naira or whatever they're going to give you if you win, if you are selected as the winner? So this question is to the three contestants. So within a minute, you should be able to answer them. Okay, we start from the first con contestant. Thank you, Nasanga. Okay, sorry, I, I want to get a clarification from that question. What I want to use the 200k for as regarding the app or not the application now? So not what are you going to, yeah, what do you want to use the 200,000 like cash price for this innovation? What impact will it make in your, in your solution? What level? So like just tell us like the cost analysis briefly about your, your products and what you're going to use specifically 200,000 for. I hope that's the question, Ayla. Yes, yes, okay. yes. All right, um, first of all, um, according to the research um, that we made, actually developing an application takes up to um, 500K upwards to millions, depending on the ambiguity of the application. But for the first process of the application, it's we first need to conduct a study, a pilot study, and it has to be done within the whole nation. We're talking about the whole of Nigeria now, and it has to be done perfectly. That is going to cost some amount of money. Also, we are going to be having web developers, website designers, and there's going to be a lot of charges on this. Website development can take about can take about 50K, can take about 20K, depending. And the, this application we're talking about is a very, very large one, and it's going to take a whole lot. But for the first um for the first process of this um application, we need collaboration. If we can collaborate with those who are very, very much interested in developing this application and they won't really have to take so much money, then I, I feel like it can really go a long way. The 200 can, can see the project to the end, but it is definitely going to get somewhere. Like in the process of collaboration, the process of the pilot study, in the process of having web UI designers sitting together to try to come about um, how this app is supposed to is supposed to be. Also, we conduct we're having a research okay. group, and these people will need to be paid as well. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Have one minute. Thank you so much, uh, Christiana. Ola, did you want to answer that question? All right, thank you, ma'am. So, um, like I said, while pitching, the two hundred thousand era will not be enough to um, see through everything needed for the hub to start functioning. But then it's going to help start the process. 
So like I said, we already divided them into percentages of the things we'll be using the 200,000 Naira for. Now, we um, are proposing seeking um, funds from um, people may be interested in developing the apps, considering the fact that the app is going to have um, a language translator that will be translated into different languages. That is the main essence of the app. So it's going to be very extensive. But we believe that the 200,000 era is going to help kickstart the process while we work on research, development, and seeking funds from external sources. Thank you. Thank you so much. Additional Timothy. All right, thank you for the question, sir. So from my own experience, I'm a product designer. I definitely know that 20,000 Naira cannot be enough to develop an app. So that's why in my pitch, I talked about collaboration and partnership. Presently, I'm talking with the founder of National Dosage National Calculation Competition for nurses, the person of Nurse Ogun Labi. So what I'll do is try to partner with people that can provide me resources so as to produce this app. Then secondly, I going to invest in research and planning. I believe there is so much to be done when it comes to research, you know, understanding market analysis and planning. So that's the second thing. Then lastly, like I mentioned in my pitch, I will conduct a pilot project. This will allow me to test for the utility and effectiveness of the application in a real world setting. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So one last question from Steve from Nasayana. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. The innovators, brilliant. And the, the, the last question I'll be asking is: um, Do you does does any of you have an MVP? Do you know what an MVP is? And if you know what an MVP is, do you have do you do you, do you think you have one, or do you have one? At least you you should know what you are you are pitching an idea. You should know what an MVP is. Yeah, thank you. Does anybody want to answer? Do you have an MVP? So it's, it's just the process of creating functional and product ready, not the actual product, just a prototype. So that's my understanding of MVP. So do you, you have? Yeah, I do, I, I do it in my presentation, but not. OK. Yeah, just the design prototype MVP. Okay. Majusala, do you have? All right, I'll take that as a no. Christiana, you have an MVP. Yes, ma'am. Do you have an MVP? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Majusala, do you have an MVP? I have um, a prototype. Okay, can you tell me the name of your product again, Mojisola? Because I couldn't capture that. Of the product, yes. um, we don't exactly have a name. It's just a, an application, a study application. A study application. All right, thank you. That's your proof. All right, so uh, we know it's time is fast spent, and I want to really appreciate everyone. It's been amazing. Uh, we won't take any much time, so we will retreat back to the judges to make our collations and then come back to you. Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you so much, uh, Nos Kochala. Uh, wow, wow, wow! It's it's been an interesting time here. It's 10 p.m. Nigerian time, and we are still at uh, currently at uh, you know epicenter of this event. I know that you watched the pitches. You've been with us since the beginning of this event, and you know that this is not the time to go. Right, this is not even the time. You don't even want to try it. Right, I'm not threatening you, but this is not the time to go. I mean, you want to know the winner of this event, right? And uh, um, I believe in the next couple of minutes. Uh, judges will be back with the final uh, results from this um, event. And of course, they are going to intimate us on how uh, they uh, came by uh, the results for transparency purposes and um, also for everyone to be on the same page. So I want to have a reaction in the chat box. I hope you are enjoying this event. 
If you are enjoying the event, say yay. If you are not enjoying it, say nay. I mean, don't say, type it. <laughs> don't say, just type it in the chat box. Let me know if you are enjoying yourself on this event, if you are learning, if you're getting inspired, if you're happy with what you are seeing. Let me see your reactions. I'm seeing plenty of years. All right, all right. Okay, while our, thank you so much, everyone. While our judges, uh, you know, do their thing, uh, it is very, very important for us to um, recognize some persons in our midst tonight. They are our guests for this event, special guests of honor, right? And it is a very, very great privilege to have them in our midst. And um, while I introduce them, uh, we are going to hear from them. Uh, some of them have some, you know, you might be going uh, home with some giveaways tonight. And some of them have some word of encouragement, you, are, you know, some inspiring stuff to share with us. And I mean, they are very, very influential people. When you're talking about nursing in Nigeria, nursing in the world, these are top class people who you should, you know, be happy to be in their network. And um I'm going to go right into introducing them. Uh, as I introduce them, please make sure to jam your hands together for every one of them. And I'm going to be starting by introducing our, our first guest on this event tonight, the person of... Well, how many of us know nurses on air? If you've had nurses on air, let me see. Just type yes, nurses on air. Nurses on Air is a, is a leading media uh, company in Nigeria for healthcare gist, healthcare news, and any other related um, documentaries in healthcare, right? So I'm going to be introducing the founder of Nurses on Air, the person of Mr. Ayodeji. Mr. Ayodeji, you're welcome. Good evening, sir. Are you with us? Mr. Ayodeji Olabi, we are glad to have you in our midst this evening. Thank you for joining us. Uh, okay, let, let, let me just um, welcome all of the uh, um, guests, and then I'll call some of them to share some words with us. Also, the next person I would like to introduce this evening is the person of, is one of our own, one of our Fathers in nursing is a critical care nurse, and um, in Nigeria and in the United Kingdom, is the founder of the National Drug Dosage Calculation Competition in Nigeria. Uh, if you are a nursing student here, there is a competition coming up. This is this is an announcement you didn't pay for. There's another competition coming up, and the registration is going to be starting in two days' time, right? And the grand prize for this competition is five hundred thousand Nigerian naira not US Naira, Nigerian Naira. And I mean, this is one event and um, competition you want to take advantage of. It is not only about the competition, but it is an opportunity for you, you know, to put yourself to, uh, to, to, you know, practice some of the things you've been learning, build collaboration, build networks, and of course, uh, get some cash in your pocket. So I'm going to be introducing the founder and the, uh, the, the, the set man of this contest and is the person of uh, Mr. David Ogunlabdi. Sir, we are so glad to have you in our midst this evening. Good evening, sir. Uh, good evening. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Thank sir. You. You're welcome, sir. We'll be bringing you on board shortly to, uh, for your good your message. Also, the next person I would like to introduce is, I mean, I was in an event earlier today and men, I mean, we have really great people in nursing, right? Out of all the speakers in this event, our session was one of the most outstanding in the event uh, today. And I mean, she's a great speaker, a prolific writer, a registered nurse and a proud perioperative nurse specialized in uh, minimally invasive surgery. Uh, no other, she's also, yeah, she's also the founder of uh, LinkedIn Nurses Nigeria. If you know who I'm talking about, just type the name of that person in the chat box. If you know who I'm talking about already, just type that person's name in the chat box. Let me see if you... Mm, Sarah Kumi, can you jam our hands together? Uh, Nurse Kumi, Sarah, it's a great privilege to have you in our midst this evening. You're welcome. You're welcome to the Nursing Challenge. 
Thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Awesome talent going on. I'm on my way to Lagos, so it's going to be a little bit noisy. All right. Thank you so much, Amnoskumi. Uh, we hope that we are able to hear you anytime you want to share uh, with us, right? And uh, we wish you a safe journey back to Lagos. Uh, the next person I'm going to be introducing, my God, it's a great privilege to have this. See, this is a big fish in our midst tonight. Sincerely, uh, if I begin to read this profile, we might not live here. In fact, I mean, we might not live here, right? But simply put, I'm going to be introducing someone now. Uh, he is the founder, uh, a co-founder of um, Essential Recruits in Canada. Essential Recruits is a government approved, is a Canadian government approved recruitment agency that helps in facilitating the uh, um, immigration of international nurses, internationally educated nurses into to practice as a registered nurse in Canada. And he, the uh, Essential Recruit, is one of the sponsors of this event, and we have the co-founder as one of the guests on tonight's event. And even as a guest, this uh, man has uh, also promised to share some tips with nurses on how they can, you know, build themselves in innovation. And also, he has some word of encouragement for the participants. But for now, I'm going to be introducing and welcoming Mr. Daniel. Mr. Daniel from Essential Recruits. We are so glad to have you in our midst tonight. Good, uh, um, I think it should be evening there right now too. Good evening, you are welcome to Innovate Nursing Challenge. Mr. Daniel. Thank you so much, um, Adomi, for that um, awesome introduction. Um, to be honest, guys don't believe anything that you hear from me. It's not true. I'm just this <laughs> guy that, <laughs> I'm just this guy that um, considered himself um, a nurse, that he didn't never train to be a nurse. And I am just um, delighted to be here. I'm listening to a lot of the stuff that is going on here. It's so incredible. And um, I would like to just applaud the Innovate Nurse in Africa um, team for putting this together because I think it's timely. Um, it's uh, it's time for nurses to take matters into their own hands and um, bring forward very innovative ideas that could change the game um, in healthcare, not just in Africa, but across the world. So it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. I, I believe that, you know, when Mr. Daniel speaks, his voice alone is inspiration on its own. You know, there, there was a time I was on a call with him and then, you know, he was just dishing some things. And right there, I think I'm not exaggerating about five, six ideas poured into my mind right there, just some few minutes conversation with him. It's really, really uh, great to have you in our midst. And I thank you so much for honoring our call. And the next person I'm going to be introducing, I think in absentia, as a person of, this is a big name in nothing, not nothing Nigeria alone, but nothing worldwide. He's a global Nurse executive and um, is the founder of Empower Nurses Consult. I um, I mean Empower Nurses Consult is one of the leading uh, nurse led organization in Nigeria that are empowering nurses, uh, supporting and you know providing platforms to help nurses to uh, take their career from point A to B and of course make uh, significant progress in their uh, in their professional development and career development as well. And that is the person of. I mean, this is a very, very big name. And I'm so honored and honored to introduce my own board, the person of Prince Will Agedo in absentia. I'm not sure he's on call with us right now, but it's a privilege to have him as one of the guests. And of course, Empower Nurses Consult as one of the sponsors of this event as well. And moving on, I'm going to be introducing the next guest, which is um, the person is the founder of the Nurses uh, Jobs Opportunity, NGO, as we popularly know it in Nigeria. is also a registered nurse in Nigeria and in the United Kingdom, and he also works in the space of helping nurses also to move forward in their career. And that is no other person than Mr. Nurse Abiodun Oluwatobi, my namesake, Abiodun Oluwatobi, in absentia, he messaged me earlier that he would be on duty and would be unable to make this meeting, but it's really a great privilege to have him on board. Um, next, I'm going to be introducing, I'm not, my God, the, the, the caliber of people we have in our midst tonight. It's really, really a great privilege. And um, moving on, I'm going to introduce uh one of our uh uh 
big guest in our midst tonight uh, is also a registered nurse, right? And um, is currently the speaker of the Oyo State Youth Parliament. He's a registered nurse and of course, is a, a political stakeholder in Oyo State, the biggest uh, state in Nigeria. And uh, it's a privilege this evening to have in our midst, Right Honorable Israel Fawoli. Right Honorable Israel Fawoli. Can I get some clap ovation in the chat box? to welcome Right Honorable Israel Fowley. I think he's trying to connect. His audio is not yet connected. Honorable Israel Fowley, if you can hear us, we'll be happy to hear from you if your audio is connected or when your audio is connected, sir. We are so glad to have you in our midst. You're welcome. Uh, Honorable Israel Fowley is also one of the sponsors of uh, this event, and we are so glad to have him uh, on board. Honorable Israel Fawali, you are welcome, sir. Um, all right, moving on. I'm going to be uh, introducing the next guest, who is also uh, an amazing personality in the nursing profession. She is a registered nurse and uh, an, uh, a mental health nurse in training and uh she is a founder of the trailblazing nurses network trailblazing nurses network is a platform that have been dedicated to you know uh, spotlighting nurses doing exceptional things in nigeria and africa and, and i mean they are really doing amazing stuff and uh one of the uh founders and co-founders of this initiative is a person of nurse Fayokemi Olarotimi. Nos Olarotimi Fayokemi. It's a privilege to have you in our Miss Trailblazing Nurses Network is one of the media partners and collaborators for this event. I've been, they've been doing really, really amazing job as since we started this event. Uh, Nos Olarotimi, it's a privilege to have you in our Miss tonight. You're welcome, Ma. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to be here. Thank you so much. And the last on our list uh, that I'm going to be introducing, this person is my own boss, right? Any graphic design you see it for any nursing event, right? The first person you should suspect is this man. Is my own boss and is an amazing, phenomenal uh, registered nurse. Is one of the media manager and the administrator of Health Information uh, Corner, and also one of the key uh, team members in Empower Nurses Consult in Nigeria. And is a phenomenal nurse and a great team player. And that is the person of Max Walter. That name sounds American, but. Uh, it is what it is, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, join me as I welcome um, Max Walther. I think he's currently uh, not on the call, so I, I, the network is not very good in his area, right? So, so moving on, I'm going to quickly call on maybe one of our guests, some of our guests to share their uh, good view messages and anything they have for the participants. Uh, the contestants and everybody listening this evening so i want you to pay attention we've had the keynote speech we are we've had the contest but in this session as well i believe there's going to be an amazing thing come for you so please just pay attention and listen and the first person i would like to invite is a person of mr daniel mokka the co-founder of essentia recruits canada mr daniel you are welcome yeah, thanks again um, for inviting me and um, hello everybody. Um, good afternoon from Canada and good evening um, if you're in Nigeria and good morning, depending on where you are, if you're in um, maybe Singapore or Vietnam. Um, but um, like uh, I've been introduced, my name is Dana Mocha. I'm co-founder, chief um, product officer for Essential Recruit. Um, and it is uh, essentially a, um, a, tech, a talent acquisition software that helps um, health systems here in Canada to find, attract, and retain skilled healthcare workers. Um, you can think of us like the Indeed, but for dedicated to healthcare. Um, and the journey to getting here has been um, over a 10-year journey. Um, I used to be a 
nurse recruiter for eight years while living in the UK. So um, this pretty much came about um, from trying to see how I can help nurses better. And this is also one of the reasons why I consider myself a nurse that never trained as a nurse because for eight years going on to over a decade now, like I've interacted with so many nurses. I've had to understand the processes. I've had to understand what the rigors are um, and how to support nurses. So I, I kind of, I can follow on nurse terms, but I'm not necessarily a nurse, but I'm uh, I'm just excited to be a part of the ecosystem. And thank you guys for um, being open and welcoming to, to myself as well, because um, everything that I've been able to do today has been because um, I've been able to have that access to you guys to listen to you and understand how I can best support you. Um, that being said, I'm not going to take too much of the time. I just wanted to to come on and just um, say that the, the job that... Uh, Innovate Nurse in Africa has done, and even the contest of the finalists, I think it's really incredible. Um, some of the ideas are, are superb, and um, um, I always tell my team, and I tell a lot of other folks as well, like, um, uh, ideas are a dime a dozen. Execution is always key, you know, and um, a lot of the ideas are fantastic. Um, but just from my own journey and the lessons that I've learned, um, I saw a few comments, uh, I was reading a few comments from the chat. Um, people saying yes, two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, not two hundred thousand dollars. Excuse me, <laughs> but two hundred thousand naira is uh, not enough to to build an app. And I would second that absolutely. It's the real fact. Um, I can tell you for a fact that the platform that we've built, um, and we just in the MVP stage, um, as we've spent over a hundred thousand dollars, and we're just in MVP. You know, so it takes a lot to build a web app. You know, and it's it's something that is going to take years to accomplish. Um, but I like something that I think it was um, um, Timothy that said it, um, where he said, uh, we're just focusing on the research piece. And I think that's the first thing before you even start building an MVP. Um, you need to focus on that research piece um, because you need to understand why you're different. Like, why should your app or your idea be the one that everyone is using? You know, what's that differentiating factor? What business model are you going to use? It's one thing to create an app. It's another thing to make money from it. Um, and um, a lot of folks that I think all across the contestants, everyone said that we're going to look to raise money from external sources. Trust me, I am also still raising money from external sources right now. It is a hard thing to do. And before you get in front of any investor to say like you're going to raise money from them, they need to add, they need to understand what's your business model? How are you going to make money? How are you going to monetize these things? These are real things that you need to think about. Um, and I just wanted to chip that in. And the other thing is that your MVP is not a mock-up, is not uh, a wireframe. Um, your MVP has to be a fun, fully functioning product. Um, I know people like to use the word MVP, that's minimal viable product, but I always like to tweak that term and say it should be your MLP, which is your minimum lovable product, um, because it's not just about being a viable product. It has to be a product that is loved or that it can, when anyone uses it, they'll be like, you know what, this is a dope product, you know, and I would love to use it consistently. So um, it's also just a mindset thing that I think it will be also good for, for you to, to, to keep in mind as you, as you go on this journey. Um, I think that's everything I have in a nutshell. And I know, like I already told um, uh, Innovate Nuts in Africa that I'm so excited about this because I think it's just the start and I have pledged my commitment and my team's commitment to come back next year and sponsor this and even make it much bigger, much better, much more um, 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 interesting, you know, for us and innovators as well. Uh, and there's something that I know I've not spoken to him about, but whoever wins this, um, I would offer um, two hours of my time um, if anyone wants to sit with me, you know, and ask questions and guidance on the next steps for them. You know, I would offer that free of charge to anybody. You can connect with me on LinkedIn. You can send me an email. I'll find some time and we have a sit down and know how we can guide you going into the next steps. But again, thanks a lot for the time. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for always supporting me. Um, and to everyone out there who's probably a potential user of Essential Recruits, we're just getting started. You know, it's not the perfect product. Again, it's just our MVP. No matter how it looks, no matter how advanced you might think like we've gotten, it's just the MVP. We're just getting started and there's so much we have planned for not just nurses, but for doctors, pharmacists, health technicians, people that are helping us, providing us care that we 
do, to be honest, we don't even deserve because you guys sacrifice a lot. But um, Essential Recruit is here to support you on your entire journey, not just from finding jobs, but also helping you thrive and prosper, you know, in whatever field that you choose to do. So again, thank you so much for um, the opportunity. And I look forward to connecting with some of you. I'm going to drop my LinkedIn um, in the chat. So feel free to connect and message me anytime um, and have a lovely evening. Cheers. Amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Daniel. Uh, I mean, that's a uh, point. Mr. Daniel, I've not had time to sit to you for two hours. <laughs> what are you offering me? But then we'll talk about that at the back end. Thank you so much. Uh, we are really great. You, you know you have access to me anytime. Anytime, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for that. We're so grateful for having you on board this evening. And we look forward to our future partnership and collaborations. As uh, you have said, thank you so much. We're really grateful uh, for having you. All right. We are moving towards the announcement of the results. But before we go into that, I'm going to welcome uh, Mr. David Ogunlabi, one of our guests and, of course, uh, one of the sponsors of this event, the um, setman of the National Drug Dosage Calculation Competition of Nigeria for Nigerian nurses. Uh, I'm going to welcome him for his goodwill message to the contestants and the participants in this event. You're welcome, sir. Hi, good evening, everybody. Um, so I really want to appreciate this privilege. And thank you so much, Mr. Toby, for this, for this great work you are doing. I have been following the program, and um, over, over 72 people have, have been held spellbound to the program since it started. And, that is phenomenal. I believe nursing is evolving. If, if they told us 10 years ago that we have a, a group of nurses gathering together online to, to talk about stuff like this, many of us, uh, many of the people then will doubt, will doubt it. But um, I'm excited at what is happening in the nursing community in Nigeria and uh, worldwide. And uh, I also want to appreciate as many people that are here. Uh, in, in one of my um, online lectures, and um, we had a, an HOD, HOD of nursing in, uh, I think, Abuja, who joined us. I didn't know until after that lecture that someone very, as, as important as that joined that particular lecture on that day. So I believe that there are a lot of dignitaries uh, on this platform. So I want to appreciate everybody uh, for taking our time to be here. Now, I just want to drop two major thoughts. I believe that uh, one of the things we should take home from this gathering is that we have a lot, we have a lot of potentials in us. We have a lot of abilities in us. And they are always provoked by problems and challenges around us. So instead of complaining, just try to innovate. And um, I remember I had the, I had the initiative of, um, of writing my first book when I was in year one in nursing school. And um, you know, having, be, having been exposed to the clinical experience and I saw a lot of challenges with nurses calculating drug dosages. I took up that initiative from my year one, even though I did not publish that book at that time, but I started networking with a few friends in nursing school. And then when I finished nursing school, I had to publish that book. So instead of complaining about issues and lamenting, we should rather you know, look for ways to provide solutions to problems around us. And um, one of the things that also that is also driving our this national drug dosage calculation competition for nurses is that um, when I finished from nursing school uh, a few years ago in the UCH, I, I I was privileged to be the best graduating student in the in my set, and um, they gave me a prize. And when I opened the package, it was a wristwatch, and it was even a female wristwatch. Maybe they thought it's a female that will, you know, receive that prize. And I had to 
try, I had to cost that um, wristwatch. Maybe it's worth two thousand or three thousand. So I had I was given like five awards. So I, I just imagined that is this all I could get for graduating okay. as a best yeah. student in the nursing school. I now discover that we don't reward hard work. We don't reward diligence, especially in nursing. You see, so we attend nursing school, they, they bully us, they say a lot of things at us. Students put in a lot of energy in getting things done. At the end of the day, you don't even reward their effort. So I had to come up with that thing that, let us bring up something that will encourage nurses. Let nurses connect, let's socialize, let's, let's create an environment that will stir up the gifts and callings and potentials in us. And also by doing that, we also bring in solution. WHO has an issue with drug errors, you know, worldwide. And they set a target that they want to do something to bring it down. So our, it's our own quota to, to gather nurses together and provide solutions to these kind of things. And there are several issues around us every day, each day we wake up. So I just want to challenge us that this gathering is to steer something up in us so that we can we can be solution oriented in everything we do. We will be solution oriented. And when we do this, uh, in the next few years, we will see that a lot of drastic changes would have happened even in the nursing profession and in our own lives personally. So thank you very much. I also want to, just like Mr. Toby said, uh, the NDDCN competition yes, I MG. is coming up and the registration will yes, open in two days. Um, it's for nursing students. We are focusing on nursing students at this time. The cash price is 500,000 Naira. We are still, we have, we have a lot of vision about that. In years to come, it will be a very, um, you know, it's a global, it will be a global uh, competition. Uh, so thank you very much for this opportunity. Good job, good work. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, we are so glad to have you in our midst as the founder of NDSCN uh, competition in Nigeria and also one of the partners and sponsors of Innovate North in Africa. Uh, thank you so much. We are so glad to have you and for the word of encouragement and for the inspiration as well. Uh, right about now, we are going to... Ooh, I, I think our judges are ready. Uh, they are ready for us, and um, we are getting to see the winner right now. Uh, Honorable Israel Fawale is sending his apologies. I think he's having issues with um, network where he currently is. So uh, apologies on behalf of um, right Honorable Israel Fawale. So I'm going to call on uh, our next guest uh, for the next two minutes, two minutes to just share with us uh, uh, their word of uh, their good new message as we proceed into the announcement of the results of this event. I mean, some people's hearts are not in their body again right now, but then just chill. In the next five minutes, you are going to know the winner of this event. So I'm going to call on uh, Noskumi Sarah. Noskumi Sarah, are you able to speak now? Are you able to share your good message now? If yes, can you unmute yourself? Uh, we are glad to welcome you, man. I'm not yet to be. I'm still in traffic. Oh, oh, all right then. That that's fine. Uh, if you are unable to speak, then that means I'm going to read out your good message and share with everyone as well. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, moving on, I'm going to invite our next guest. The Person of Mr. Uh, Olabi Ayodeji, you are welcome. Uh, Nozo, uh, Nozo Olabi Ayodeji is also a registered nurse and uh, is a uh, uh, founder and one of the founding members of Nurses on Air. Nurses on Air is a media company, is an healthcare media company in Nigeria. You are welcome, uh, Mr. Ayodeji. If you are able to speak right now, so you can unmute yourself, we'll be glad to have you. Okay, apparently um, I'm still at work, but let me just quickly use this opportunity to thank everyone for putting this together. And I want to appreciate every uh, part of the team that brought this up. It's not easy to bring up an innovative idea to help others. This is just like what they would do, we do, we rise by leading others. Uh, you guys are doing a great job. And for everyone, either you win or not, 
your ideas are legit, you can make it work. Look for any other means. If it's not through this um, challenge, you can talk to one or two people. They can put ideas together. You can collaborate with others. Um, someone used to say something that at the top, they don't fight, they collaborate. Top people collaborate to make things work. Zero times one million era is zero. But if you're having 30% of one million era is still something. So irrespective of the outcome today, try to see one or two people you can collaborate with to make your ideas and projects come to light. I believe everyone can do better. We can always make nothing great. And one thing I will say is whatever you're doing, don't think about nothing as a professional alone in all you want to do. Think about the public as well, so that your ideas can serve more people. Thank you for the time. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ayodeji Olabi, the founder of Nurses on the Air, uh, one of the collaborators, the partners, and one of the sponsors of Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023. Thank you so much for honoring our call. And we believe that next year when we call you, you will uh, also answer us and uh, we'll be happy to partner with us again for uh, subsequent events. Thank you so much. We are so honored to have you in our midst. All right. Okay. Now we are there we are there if you are excited to hear the result now can you drop some excitement emoji in the chat box if you are excited to hear the results now can you drop some emojis in the chat box let me see okay okay it's rolling in already so while the excitement emoji is rolling in i'm going to call on my uh one of our guests as well, who is the founder of the Trailblazing Nurses Network. She also has a word of uh, advice and a good real message for the participants, the contestants uh, on the event tonight. So I'm going to invite the person of Nurse uh, Fayokemi or Laro Tsimi for a good real message. Good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And I must commend the team lead and team members of Innovate Nursing Challenge for their exceptional leadership and vision. The Innovate Challenge has become a beacon of inspiration, igniting passion, and innovative spirit within nurses. I mean, I believe that nursing innovators are rising from this um, event. Thank you for paving the way for a brighter future in 8 And to the contestants, I salute your courage. Yes, I salute your courage in meeting the, the need of involving 8 challenges. And you've not only showcased your talent and ideas, but you've demonstrated your unwavering passion for nursing and your drive to make a positive impact on the 8 industry. And we do await to spotlight your TNN, and we also await your innovative ideas and solutions to take it full fledged. I wish you good luck as you embark on the journey of betting forth your ideas. And to all nurses present here, um, I would like to say that nursing is an uncultivated fighter feed, and it takes input and effort from you and I to push boundaries. Positive impact making should be a value statement, and we should be a solution provider not one of the problems that um, we need to solve in nursing. So let's embrace change. And the journey to embracing change starts from you gathering knowledge and skills related to the change you want to make. And I also see that let's nurture our innovative spirit. Don't be afraid to move out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid to break down traditional barriers. Thank you so much. See you at the top. That's an amazing goodwill message from the founder of Trailblazing Nurses Network. She herself is a trailblazer. And I mean, she has just demonstrated that to us even from our speech right now. And last up on the list that I'm going to be inviting as one of our guests to give us the final good message tonight is a person of my own boss. I can't wait to have you on screen, Max Walter. If you are anywhere right now, Max Walter, come out. Max Walter.
<laughs> okay. Yeah, good evening. Good evening, good. my boss. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good to have you. Please, apologies, okay? Um, I'm kind of having a very uh, faulty network. So in order to um, be fully um, active on the event, I have to turn my video coverage off. So yeah, I understand it yeah. It, it's okay. First of all, I must commend you and commend the innovator, Northern Africa. I mean, this is a very, very wonderful initiative. And we're trying to incorporate um, tech into nursing. It's, it's something that uh, we should really put in the spotlight. And people should really embrace it. You know, it's um, always it's known that nurses. In fact, it's, there's this stereotype for nurses that nurses are not. You know, they don't have a hand in technology or know anything other than giving injection, giving dispersing tablets, and the rest of them. But today, things like that have changed. I mean, there's the introduction of artificial intelligence, as well as um, so many other things. I mean. Uh, if envision a world where technology, you know, seamlessly integrates into the nursing profession, there'll be lots and lots of skills that will be augmented, and then there'll be lots and lots of ability increase. So at the end of the day, we'll be having very, very wonderful healthcare. Oh, sorry. I think um, Max Arthur's network, I'm logged in out. All right. Uh, if that is the case, then I um, would be happy to bring him back on board when he comes back. Um, I guess Noskumi will still be on transit. So let me just read a good message very ASAP, ASAP. All right. So um, as we proceed to listen to the results now, here is... Um, Noskumi serious goodwill message to the participants. Dear participants, today I stand before you to extend my outfield appreciation and admir admiration for your remarkable contributions to the nursing innovation challenge. Your dedication to pushing the boundaries of nursing practice is truly commendable. As we gather here today, we celebrate not only your accomplishments, but also the transformative power of innovation within nursing profession. My key point, number one, embracing the spirit of innovation. Innovation is lifeblood of progress, true. And each of you embodies the spirit. Throughout the challenge, you have showcased your passion for nursing and your unwavering commitment to making a positive difference in lives of both you, your patient, and your colleagues. Your innovative ideas uh, have, have the potential to reshape the way we deliver healthcare, improving outcomes, and enhancing uh, patient experiences. Number two, the impact of this nursing innovation. Innovation, as you may know, has the power to create a ripple effect, touching countless lives and leaving a lasting legacy. By thinking outside the box, each of you have demonstrated your ability to identify and address critical healthcare challenges. Uh, can anyone still hear me? I believe um, you can still hear me. All right. Whether it is improving patient care, enhancing efficiency, or leveraging technology, your innovative solution have the potential to revolutionize the way we practice nursing. And um, three, celebrating the winner. Among the exceptional entries, one participant has emerged as a winner of this esteemed nursing innovation challenge. Uh, Noskumi is uh, applauding whoever is going to be the winner of this challenge, right? And of course, commending all participants, while only one part participant takes on the prize, it is crucial to acknowledge that each participant and every one of you has played a vital role in shaping the future of nursing. Your ideas, enthusiasm, and collaborative efforts have undoubtedly made a difference. You have all contributed to a culture of innovation within our profession, and for that, we extend our deepest appreciation. In conclusion, I want to express my gratitude to each participant for their unwavering commitment to nursing. Uh, your passion and dedication have set example for others to follow. As you continue your journey as trailblazers in the nursing field, remember that innovation knows no boundary. Embrace challenges, take risks, and let your creativity shine through. Thank you, and may your innovative spirit continue to guide you on a path of excellence. Remember, it is better to own 1% of something Participant on this uh, event tonight 
take home this quote from Noskumi. It is better to own 1% of something than own 100% of nothing. I read that again. It is better to own 1% of something, of something large, than own 100% of nothing. Thank you so much. This is from Noskumi Sera, the founder of LinkedIn Nurses and um, Leverage Pad. Thank you so much, um, Noskumi. And right about now, I am going to invite the Chief George. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. I mean, from 8 p.m. Nigerian time, this is going to three hours on this event. And we are still 78 are close to 80 participants on this event. I mean, I must appreciate everyone on this uh, event right now. I mean, the passion, the dedication, the interest you've shown in this event by remaining and staying with us till this moment is really a commendable one. I mean, shout out to all of you. Uh, I love you all on behalf of the Innovate Nursing team. So stay with us right now. We are going to hear the results of the uh, grand finale of Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023. And uh, before Nurse Coach Ola speaks, uh, sorry, I, I know you guys are already like, what, what, what's wrong? What's wrong with this moderator? Can you just announce this thing? Calm down, calm down, calm down. We'll announce it. We are not going nowhere. You will definitely get to know the winner. But then I would like to give uh, this, privilege to one of the fathers in nursing. I mean, this is a very senior person in nursing uh, Nigeria, and not only in Nigeria, but all over uh, the world, right? And um, it's a privilege to have him in our midst. Uh, in just two minutes, he has something uh, to share with us. And I believe it is something we all are going to be interested, I mean, very, very interested in. So I want you to pay attention for the next two minutes. And Nurse Kotola, I'm sure she is ready for us. The Chief Judge, she's going to be presenting uh, the results right now. So I want to welcome uh, Mr. Ogungo Kayode, if you are on the call, sir, uh, you can kindly unmute yourself. We would like to hear from you at this time. Uh, Mr. Kayode, you are welcome to our midst. We are so glad to have you, sir. Yeah, good morning from my side. It's uh, wow. 1 for the 4 a.m. here. Wow. Thank you very much. It's a good time to learn, to connect, and to share ideas. I want to commend the consensus. They are very good. Uh, this, is, this is motivational and uh, impressive. I want, to, I want to bring to your attention the, the bond that we require. I said in the, at the, after the first presenter that I was just coming from a meeting where the council chairman was there and the NAM national president was there and a lot of professors were there. We need a lot of things to do, and this is a very good move, right step at the right direction. Uh, I want to play with us, we the younger ones, we are the ones that can help the profession. Please, the NAM need us in the digital area. Uh, I want to bring to your attention again, the international uh, association, the international conference, that is coming up for nurses, alumni generally, not limited to one school, generally, alumni generally. And the concept of it is uh, how do we bring our brain, uh, brain drain to become brain gain? Uh, nurses as change agents share opportunity for career advancement and global impact. This is the theme. We are going to look at the uh, impact in area of personnel administration. We are going to look at grants and research. We are going to look at advanced practice in nursing. And we are going to also involve nursing education, which we are going to have many big scholars as presenter in this conference. It's going to happen in Dubai in October, between October 23rd and 27, 2023. Please, don't be, don't be afraid about the visa ban. 
we have a waiver already for that conference. Prepare to be part of it. Thank you very much. And especially I want to thank the organizer. Uh, I don't like the process of winner take all. I don't know what we are going to do. Organizer, please reach out. Let's find something for those that will be second and third. Please don't let it be winner take all. It's not good. Yes, sir. I will contribute as well, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, I, I, I'm so glad right now. Wow, wow. Thank you so much uh, for that. Um, okay, I'm going to definitely reach out um, uh, after this um, uh, event uh, for what we are going to, of course, offer for the second runner up and, of course, the first runner up of this event. Right. So, uh, uh, Mr. Ogungo is a very uh, senior nurse and he currently uh, resides in um, uh, Dubai. So he just, just talked to us about an international conference for all nurses, all nurses. Uh, if you're a graduate nurse from School of Nursing, College of Nursing, universities, wherever you are working from whatever part of the world you're joining us from, you are invited to this conference. It's going to be coming up in Dubai, right? I know some of us knows uh, the issue of the visa ban in Dubai, but then for this particular conference, the committee have been able to secure a waiver for everybody who will be traveling into Dubai for that event. So the uh, registration process and the fee are very, very, very affordable and seamless. And you know, it will be communicated on the attendees page for this event. So if you've been looking forward to go to Dubai uh, and uh, maybe Dubai is one of the countries on your bucket list, this is the right opportunity for you to go to Dubai. Apart from the conferences, the workshop and all of those things, there are times to visit places and explore the beauty of Dubai. So please plan to attend and plan to be part of it. Right about now, I'm bringing in the judges to do their thing. If you are ready for this session, make some noise. Don't um, If you unmute your mic, they are kicking you out of this meeting, but then just make some noise in the chat box. Nosko Chola, uh, you are welcome, man. I'm so sorry for taking your time. Oh my God. I think this is worth it. What do we think? I think this is what it's, um, this is actually a dream coming to reality for me, honestly. And I think the first time to be, uh, you know, mentioned this to me, I was like, okay, it's like you're in my head. So uh, ideas don't just come from one person and we just have to support any innovative idea. It doesn't have to come from you, you know, for it to be uh, the solution. So thank you so much. It's been a long night. I'll say that usually uh, I will be asleep now. So uh, what we have been waiting for, uh, we're going to announce now. Are we ready? But before we announce as well, I'm going to invite Noz Ayla to run us through the criteria. Of course, we want transparency. And just for us to know, we had two parts to this. Uh, we've come a long way. and. The participants that are in that pitch today, there's a carryover from their scores, from you know the application over here. So I'm just going to invite uh, Nostanila to talk more about that. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, Nostanila. Thank you, Toby. Thank you to everybody, all our guests, our elders and leaders. So um, we use. Um, a criteria. We use some some um, benchmarks to determine the the winner, right? So we have we have some scores here. We we'll just run through the criteria. What the chief judge what the chief judge gives us the score. So we used about um, six of them. The first one there is innovation and creativity. So under innovation and creativity, how original and innovative is the solution presented? Does it bring a fresh perspective to nursing? So it's, so, so it's a very important point that we used to score each solution, right from the beginning and now to the final. The next one there is impact and relevance. Now, what is the potential impact of the solution on the nursing profession? and healthcare industry in general. Yeah, so, so whatever solution they have, they have, they have, they have uh, presented, what is the impact? What will it do 
what 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 will it, what will it bring to the profession and to health in Africa? Third one, there is feasibility and scalability. Can the solution be implemented effectively in a real world healthcare setting? Is it scalable? So uh, the, the solution must be scalable. Can it can it can it be be squeezed into a business model? Can it make money? Can it get clients? Can it, can we do business with the idea? So these are these are very important things that we have to take note of. Next one there is user experience and engagement. This has to do with product design and development. How user friendly and intuitive is the solution? Does it engage and empower nurses? I know that most of our um, our contestants are just starting up in 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 the field of uh, pitching and, and and all that stuff. But these are six criteria that we still need to 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 look into. The next one there is sustainability and long term viability. Is the solution financially sustainable? Does it have the potential for long term viability? So in solution in innovation you are not going to use your money to push the idea. So when an investor comes in, an angel investor, or whatever they are, when they come in, this is what they want to know. They can't just put their money in a place that they don't understand. So they want to know if your, if your idea is sustainable, if it, if it has a long-term viability, if it can last for two, three, four, five years or more. The last one there is presentation and communication. How well do the contestants articulate and present their solution? So this also is very important. I've seen people with ideas that are not really very good, but they had excellent presentation and communication. And with that, they were able to secure funding. So this also is a very important criteria that we used to score the contestants. So we, I'm going to, to, to give the, the podium to the chief judge to finally announce the winners and their scores. Thank you. Over. Thank you so much, um, Sainla. My heart is even beating myself. <laughs> All right, so without much ado, Oscar Jala, wait, wait, wait. My heart is beating. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests and esteemed candidates, after careful evaluation and deliberation, we, just, we are delighted, and when I say we, on behalf of all the judges, both present here and those not present here, uh, delighted to announce the winners of the Innovate Nursing Challenge. Drum rolls. First, let us recognize the second runner up. Second runner up for the Innovate Nursing Challenge is Oladejo Christiana with a score of 58.25%. Yeah. Good. I would need us to recognize the second runner up for their innovative concepts displayed remarkable creativity and a deep understanding of the challenges in patient care. Their solution is exhibited ingenuity and had potential for improving healthcare outcomes. Congratulations, Ola Dejo Christiana. That's um, my health part. Thank you. Can somebody clap, please? Okay, next. I'm going. We applaud the first runner up. And the first runner up for the Innovate Nurse Challenge is the draw. And that is Mujisola and the Team MJ. Team MJ. Second runner up. I appreciate giving a round of applause for them. They are transformative idea. Tackle the pressing issue in nursing, uh, talking about uh, you know study with extraordinary vision and forward thinking. This innovative approach pushed boundaries and is promisingly significant on the impact of patients and in nursing. Congratulations, MD. Congratulations. Now, 
without further ado, it is a great honor to announce the winner of the Innovate Nursing Challenge. These exceptional candidates, groundbreaking concepts impressed the judges with his comprehensive approach, potential for widespread adoption and remarkable impact on patient care, talking about medication use. So mm -hmm. additional, <laughs> Timothy, with the dose wise um, product is the winner of the Innovate Nursing Challenge. Congratulations, additional. Thank you all. Once again, congratulations to all the all the winners. Let me put it out. Okay. Be the best. Let me have your uh, additional video, please. Lead me to my destiny. I have waited patiently. I have vision, though I believe. Let's keep clapping. our presentation and innovation. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. Additional, you're still going to say that statement again. Uh, not yet. We were still just enjoying the music stand up oh, champion. Good. Thank you so much. Uh, so I want to say this last while we're congratulating additional right, to all the participants, you're all winners, to be honest. Uh, if you look at uh, the scores, maybe I can run through the scores again. We're very, very close, but we definitely have a winner. So uh, Oladejo had 58.25, MJ had 67.25%, and additional had 68%. So it's a very tight. So you all are winners. Uh, I really want us to appreciate all the contestants, uh, especially the three that you know pitched today. Thank you all for being a part of this incredible journey. And we look forward to witnessing the continued brilliance and impact of nursing innovation in the future. Thank you so much. Wow. Wow. Uh, thank you so much, uh, nurse coach Ola. Thank you so much to all of the judges. Uh, we are coming back to the to the uh vote of thanks, but uh uh, as we go, I, I would like to call on uh, uh, once again uh, our daddy, who is a very senior person in the nursing profession, to Two help us. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. So we are going to uh, call on Mr. Uh, Kayo de mm -hmm. to present the 200,000 uh, 200, cash prize to uh, Mr. Timothy. So this is a virtual presentation, but I, I believe there's a way around that, right? So uh, I'm going to display uh, the check right now, and um, we welcome. Azadi to present that. Yeah, beautiful. It's worth being awake. This is 2 a.m. That's nice. Congratulations to the three contestants. And uh, Adeshino Timothy, congratulations on behalf of everyone here today and those that are not able to make it. I'm making this presentation to you for the beautiful work that you have done. And uh, we want to encourage you to keep it up and uh, continue to improve yourself. Thank you very much for making nursing profession great. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, sir. Once again, congratulations to the winner of Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023 by Innovate Nursing Africa. Uh, uh, additional Timothy, you are, uh, we say congratulations to you. Uh, as we run up the event right now, uh, we want, I uh, would like to hear a uh, uh, acceptance uh, speech from the winner of the first of its kind events in the history of Nigeria and in the history of nursing profession, right? The Innovate Nursing Challenge 2023. We'd like to hear from the uh, winner of this uh, first episode of this event. Additional Timothy, you have uh, uh, two minutes to give us um, your acceptance speech uh, for, as a winner of this contest. You are welcome. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. So firstly, I would like to you know, appreciate God for this opportunity. And secondly, I would like to appreciate my family members. You know, some of them are here, additional Joseph, additional Oluwa, and other friends and all. Then thirdly, I would like to appreciate the organizers of this event. You know, like I mentioned earlier, I believe that there is a solution to every problem and the gap between the two is innovation. So thank you for organizing this beautiful event. And also I would like to appreciate our judges for carefully considering our speech, God bless you. So lastly, I'll, on behalf of myself and my family, I would like to accept this try. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, uh, additional Timothy, from all of us at Innovate Nursing Africa, from everyone at uh, uh, North Coachella Consulting, from everyone at Empower Nurses Consult, Health Information Corner, LinkedIn Nurses. I mean, uh, from uh, Essential Recruits, uh, we say congratulations to you. We say congratulations to you. Uh, we say congratulations. Um, I, I mean, uh, so as additional, as you are going out of here, we have security guards already awaiting you outside. So uh, don't worry, you are safe, you are secured. Yeah, nobody's going to take the money from you. So uh, the security are waiting for you outside, you know, to take you to your destination, right? Uh, once again, I would like to uh, appreciate everyone i mean this has been an amazing time uh, in this event right uh, before i go to my uh, appreciation um, speech as we close uh, i'm going to invite one of the theme members uh, uh, of innovate nothing uh, africa to give us uh, a word of appreciation and a closing remark on behalf of Innovate North in Africa. And uh, i have the honor of inviting my friend my brother who is also uh, one of the same members of Innovate North in Africa, uh, the person of uh, David Mayowa. You're welcome to give the closing remark for this event. Uh, David Mayowa, we're happy to have you now if you are online. Hello. Um, sorry, sorry, I'm on work at the moment. Uh, good evening, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, clearly. We can hear you. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everyone. Um, uh, I want to thank everyone for being uh, here today. We want to thank everyone for being here today. Um, I remember the time where uh, when we were still uh, discussing and looking for a way to actually bring about a motivation and inspiration to all nursing. Um, students or every nurses in the world on how we can bring about solutions and um, ideologies and ideas to help build up nursing into the future. And while we were coming together and saying, okay, well, how can we do this? And uh, the idea of Innovate Nursing Challenge came together. Uh, we actually didn't know that you actually go this big and we think that I actually went this big. And from, I just want to thank, want to want to appreciate the judges actually, from uh, Miss Bemisola or Jetende to Vivian Awo Shiku to Inem Etu to Nos Ayinla, we really celebrate you. And to the Chief Judge and President of Nos Coach Ola, we really celebrate you. We thank you for your time. We thank you for your commitment. We thank you for your diligence. We thank you, even though the time wasn't enough. We thank you because you also made it uh, made it important. You made it um, work for us. We really thank you. And we want to thank all our guests for being present today. All our guests, we thank you. And to our father that made it to the meeting today, we really thank you. We thank you, sir. We celebrate uh, the impact you've had on us. We celebrate the sacrifices you've made for us. We celebrate um, the, the, uh, the, the, the welcoming embrace you've given to us all. 
we thank you. We, we really appreciate you. And one of the things I've actually come to understand about meetings like this that it's not just um, it's not just the event in itself. It's the fact that you get to meet minds, you get to meet new people, you get to relate with people, you get to connect with people, you get to um, embrace new knowledge, uh, new understanding as well. You get to expose yourself to how everybody thinks from different spheres of the world and. This is one of the things that um, Innovate Nursing Challenge has been able to give onto us tonight. And I want to celebrate, we want to collectively celebrate um, the winner uh, in person of Mr. Timo, we really celebrate you, we really congratulate you. And to the, set, the first runner up, the second runner up, we celebrate you, we celebrate you. Uh, you are all winners. To everybody that took part in Innovate Challenge, you are all winners. To us, you are all winners. Because the fact that you brought out your uh, your idea you brought out your your innovations you embrace the idea really celebrate you really celebrate you just give me a minute so we really celebrate you we really really celebrate you from the depth of our to celebrate you and this is also to bring to uh, information that uh, Innovate Nothing has come to stay. Uh, we look forward to another edition. We look forward to another edition of Innovate Nothing Challenge. And I will promise you that um, Innovate Nothing Challenge is going to be, the next version is going to be better than this. It's going to be more improved. It's going to be more um, energizing than this as well too. And we thank you for everybody that attended the e event that is present today and to our guests that couldn't make it we celebrate you we really celebrate you and to the volunteers because without you working at the background this event will take place this uh this event will go the way we planned it to be to the volunteers at the background to everybody working at the background we celebrate you we really celebrate you and to my dear brother my dear friend uh nurse adewumi Oluwatobi, we celebrate you we really thank you we love you, we love you all. Enjoy your evening, thank you so much. Thank you so much, brother. Uh, it's good to hear from you. And um, as we wrap up this event, I mean, uh, it's been an awesome, awesome time on this call. I'm actually really emotional right now. And um, uh, I wouldn't bother saying a lot of things again, but first I'm grateful to God uh, for inspiring this idea, right? I'm uh, someone very keen on innovation, problem solving, just making life better, right? And um, when this idea came, the idea came through a discussion I was having with um, my EA. Uh, I would like to also recognize her on this call uh, as I speak. Uh, we're just having a discussion and then, oh, from that discussion, that idea came uh, up and here we are today, we've been able to execute through the grace of God and with people, resources that have supported uh, this initiative, right? Uh, once again, thank you to everybody who have made it to this event tonight. Mr. David Ogunlabi, Mr. Daniel Moka, uh, uh, Noskumi Sarah, Max Water, Mr. Prince Wu, Mr. Abiodun, Mr. Ayo uh, Owolabi, uh, uh, Sister Precious Olaro to me, Nos Precious Olaro to me, our judges Nos Kochola, thank you so much. God bless you, ma. Uh, uh, Nos Daniel, Vivian, I see you. Vivian, I see you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And in a Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And of course, to the second runner up and the first runner up, uh, we are so proud of you. We are proud of what you are building. We are proud of what you are doing. And uh, we hope to catch up at the back end. And um, also to the winner, congratulations once again from everyone at Innovate Nursing Challenge. I won't end this meeting without saying a big thank you to our volunteers. I didn't do it alone. It didn't, yeah, I am the team lead, but this event would not have been possible without amazing people who we've been, you know, able to work together to pull this event. And I would like to, you know, recognize these people. Sharon and Jolao Lua, thank you so much. You've been amazing all through. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Josephine Adeye, thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. You've been amazing. Amazing. You've been doing an awesome work as one of the social uh, media managers for this uh, initiative. Um, 
uh, Tinaj, thank you so much. Uh, we are so grateful. Tehila, uh, thank you so much. Um, also, I would like to recognize Adekunle Abdul. Thank you so much. Mayo Rachel, our uh, great content creator, all of those content and everything you are seeing out there, he has been the one doing it. Thank you so much. God's own. Uh, we are very grateful, precious. And um, there is one person on this call I would like to say a special shout out to. And that's the person of Oluwa Tobiloba, Deboyega, Top Gold. Anywhere you are right now, God bless you. I love you, brother. Thank you so much. All of the designs and anything related to media that you've seen for this event have been, you know, proudly put together by Top Gold. Top Gold. Adeboega Oluwato Biloba is even my namesake. Thank you so much, Top Gold, uh, for your commitment and for your dedication to this um, program. Uh, once again, I want to say thank you, everyone, for being part of Innovate Nursing Challenge. Uh, without you being on board, we wouldn't have been able to do this right. And we really hope uh, uh, God granting us grace to continue this contest and, you know, making it bigger and reach a wider audience uh, next year. Once again, I want to say thank you to everyone. And... Um, Thanks for coming. Before we go, I want us to do something. If you are in a place where you are able to turn on your camera, we need to take a selfie right now, a group photograph. If you are able to turn on your video, please do so. We need to keep this memory uh, and uh, make it a, a, a memorable one. So just put on your uh, uh, video. Let's take a screenshot. <laughs> Let's take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot. Take a screenshot, share on your social media pages, share everywhere, shareable. Just put on your video, put on your video, everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm taking a photograph right now. You can take a screenshot as well. You can do that. All right. You can take a screenshot, go to Instagram, go to Twitter, go to LinkedIn, share something you've been able to get in Innovate Nursing Talent tonight. Start the winners, congratulate them, say something nice about them, say something nice about this event. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Take a little screenshot, please tag me. My name is Uluwato Biadeumi on Instagram, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. Tag me whenever you are making those posts. I will be glad to repost and uh, uh, let's celebrate this great feat. All right, thank you so much, everyone. All right, about now, we are bringing this event to a close we started with prayer and we are going to close with prayer and uh, in a minute let's just pray everlasting father we thank you for tonight thank you for the success of this event thank you for inspiration thank you for wisdom thank you for networks that have been built thank you for where you are taking everyone to thank you for where you are taking us in nigeria not in africa and not in worldwide too thank you because you are making our hands a healing bound through our innovations through our ideas through the wisdom you are giving us thank you lord because you remain god of the head because you remain god of the universe we appreciate you and thank you for the success of this event in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen thank you so much everyone see you at the top good night it's please drop your social media handle on whatsapp let's follow ourselves let's increase our followers i mean if you gain close to 50 followers tonight it's worth it so drop your social media handle instagram twitter tiktok anywhere you are put it on the participant group page be happy to, uh, follow all of you. This is me saying good night. Thank you and have a wonderful night rest, everyone. Thank you. God bless you. Father said, you can do anything you want with your life. You just have to be willing to work hard to get it. That's when I decided when I die, I want to be remembered for the life I lived, not the money I made. Once upon a younger year, when all our shadows disappeared, the animals inside came out to play. When face to face with all our fears, learned our lessons through the tears, made memories we knew would never fade. One day my father, he told me, son, don't let it slip away. He took me in his arms, I heard him say. Oh, me.
got a fire they can't put out Carve your name into those shining stars He said go venture far beyond the shores Don't forsake this life of yours I'll guide you home no matter where you are One day my father, he told me Son, don't let it slip away When I was just a kid, I heard him say